Sunday evening na kasi 6 o'clock ang schedule niya. Now, um, well, let's take a look at the updated bracket as far as the women's uh, game are concerned after the morning matches. Actually, surprising straight sets. Uh, the whole morning was, compri was composed of all straight sets. You can see USA defeated Japan and then Germany defeated New Zealand. So, uh, that, that actually set us up for today's uh, afternoon program, as you said. And very early on, we have uh, behind us here, warming up right now are the teams from Japan, Noriko Chinjimura and Takemi Nishibori up against Danielle Quigley and Olivia McDonald. Both these teams lost to their separate opponents. That's why they are in the bronze medal match. Yeah, but we have to mention, no, both these teams are pairing for the first time in an international tournament. They have their experiences in the past, but... You know, it's, it's good that they're still here fighting for the bronze even in their first try. Absolutely, because at stake are not just not just prize money, but points that matter also for you to be able to participate in other tournaments of the FIVB. The uh, Japanese side lost to the American side, which will go for the gold later on in our program against the Germans. On the other side of the net is the pair from New Zealand, Daniel Quigley and Olivia McDonald, and they lost to the German side earlier today. Yeah, look, when you look at the score lines, pretty close, no? But uh, same results, like we said, actually all the morning games went straight sets. However, what is important in the battle for bronze is the adjustments you're going to make, eh? because it's a different opponent. Obviously, if you go against one particular opponent, you make your game plan. What is the game plan? What is the adjustment after the morning game? So we will see the changes in the game plan. And so many changes that you have to deal with. With rather, I was about to say that the wind is blowing in a different fashion. The sun is heating up in a dip. It's the afternoon sun, mm -hmm. straight into evening. And so these are factors that the players will have to contend with here today. Well, we know they are used to it. That's why they actually chose beach volleyball. But yeah, I mean, sometimes in different countries, it is hotter. It is more humid. So yeah, I mean... Who will adjust to the climate is also important. Beach volleyball players love this weather. And those of you who love this will like this game. Just about ready to get going. Let's send it to Noel Zarate, who will introduce the players from Japan and New Zealand. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to New Valley, Santa Rosa, Philippines. This is the bronze medal match in the women's division of the FIVB Volleyball World Beach Pro Tour Futures New Valley between New Zealand and Japan. And now we introduce our officials for this match. Our first referee, Jethro Paredes from the Philippines. Our second referee, Justine Natividad from the Philippines. And now let's meet Team New Zealand. Number one, Danielle Quigley. And number two, Olivia McDonald. And their opponents, Team Japan. Number one, Riko Tsuchimura. And number two, Take Nishibori. This is for the bronze medal. Good luck to both teams. All set to get underway with the first serve of this uh, bronze medal match. Uh, you'll enjoy this because these are two very industrious teams. When I say industrious, it means that it takes a little more for them to allow the ball to die. They will keep the ball in play for a big chunk of this match. We will have, we will have um, Rico Chujimura serving first for Japan. Well, in play. McDonald, there's uh, Chujimura. You know, earlier today, as this is delivered by McDonald, they arrived, the players from New Zealand, and they were stretching on the on the sand. <laughs> well, and of course, say, they want to get oh, used okay. to it, huh? They're doing that. I can't do that. You can. Listen. No, no, no. I will die. In the meantime, <laughs> they serve in play from Quigley, and this is the shot that is outside. Uh, good effort that time by Nishibori, but it is outside. Well, they reverse the call. They call it... Uh, they? Yeah. There, there. Yeah, line ball. Good ball. 
So it is now tied at one apiece. Nishibori serve in play. Ooh. And some power added to that shot by Daniel Quigley. Well, added a little bit more power, more pace to that. It was a sharp cross, and that flips that line. Which we didn't see much of uh, yeah. earlier yeah. today when they um, lost to the German side. This serve is in. Well, they had enough time to internalize what happened this morning. Of course, I feel really both these pairs thought, you know, they had a good chance in actually winning it. Correct. So what did they go? What went wrong? What else can we do? So I'm sure it's going to be a different afternoon. Yeah, we'd rather go home to our respective countries with a podium finish. In the meantime, the Japanese side unable to keep the ball in play. New Zealand is ahead 4-1. to one. Yeah, that's good defense on the side of New Zealand. Pushing it over, and that gave Japan all sorts of problems. Olivia McDonald with the serve. Good serve. Solid recovery by Rico Chujimura. She blasts away. Quigley keeps it in play. McDonald pursues. Rico is there. And it is outside. Well, they, you know, we have to say they deserve that point. They chase. They kept the ball in play. Absolutely, and then yeah. the error on the Japanese tandem. McDonald will serve anew. Kiwi side ahead by four. That's overcooked. Why is Noel Zarate the announcer beside us here? Isn't he supposed to be the center? <laughs> Good question. I think it's cooler in that yeah, area. I suppose so. And the wind not blowing uh, as uh, ferociously as it did uh, a few hours ago. Flags uh, not dancing as much as they did this er uh, earlier in the afternoon at just about noontime. Let's go with the serve to Rico Chujimura. Chance for Japan. Chujimura. And it's alive and kept oh. in play by Quigley. Chujimura. Nishibori Chujimura. And set to the long end. Kept in play. Rico oh, oh. misjudged it. But again, the hustle. You have to give New Zealand the hustle there. Keeping that ball in play and changing things up. Bumping it over. Yes. And Japan just commits that hitting error. Strong start for Team New Zealand. Six to two count here. Good serve. It really danced in the air. Yes. And this is partially blocked by McDonald's. He'll do a lot of that. Susan Mora is there, will cross, yes, and score. Well, that's a better offensive play for Japan there, going cross. They just have to adjust their hits, make sure that not too much power. Three against six here, and this is out of reach. Japan now has four points. Against uh, six of Japan, of uh, New Zealand, Four, rather. Six. Serving will be uh, Nishibori. Great serve. Pursued, yes, and quickly takes down the point. <laughs> Whatever works, you know, at that given point in time, she felt she could get a point. Look at that roll over the net. Boy, Quigley is uh, in better spirits here this afternoon. Uh, she's active on her feet here. And this is nearly messed up, but kept in play by Rico. And here comes McDonald, who gets a check ball. And that will make the count 8-4. to four. Well, after two straight points by Japan, New Zealand comes right back. After this match, we will have the battle for third for the men. Comes Lipa, Ernest Pushkindish, and uh, we'll have Memmer, Murmur returning and Sajid Kurt. Yeah. Mm. Down and out. That'll make it five at this stage. 
I would I would say wasted opportunity. They got a stop. They stopped that ball, but it landed in between McDonald and Quigley. Rico serve is perfectly in place. And this one is a check ball as well. The point scored by New Zealand. That'll make it 9 to 5. Total points of 14 right now. Yeah, New Zealand just doing a great job. You know, the blockers there, but a couple of check balls. Daniel Quigley will serve. And it's an ace. Rico Chujimura unable to handle it. Score is currently 10 5. Japan calls a timeout. Lazy afternoon breeze and the humidity, but without the sun uh, blazing hot here <laughs> today and uh, this afternoon, maybe that favors our players. We are going with the serve of Quigley. Daniel's serve is long. Well, good timeout on the side of Japan then. They managed to score their sixth point. It is now six to ten. They pass. Shibori with her serve. Quickly with a good cross court attempt and ever so gently, but he, man, she managed to score in it. Well, you don't, you love the effort of Japan, right? You love their effort. Just they need a little bit more juice in the trying to retrieve yeah. that ball. And they need some offense here going. They do. Here's McDonald. McDonald quickly into position to attempt the block, and there's a hot spike delivered by Rigo Chujimura. Well, that looked really good, and you did ask that of them, you know, offense, and uh, Chujimura gave us just that. Seven against 11. Good serve, dancing uh, in the air as well. Quigley's attempt, good recovery, oh. but Quigley looking for it. Ah. Unable to find anybody to pass it to. Yeah, that was just smart. Well, Quigley so seeing that uh, the defense, actually it was McDonald, the defense of Japan was scrambling. They look. They were looking for teammates, actually, <laughs> and nobody exactly. Oh, oh great block by McDonald! And it's thirteen to seven. You know, if you look at this once again, it's a perfect way of blocking. Look at that. She jumped. Yep, to cover the cross. She jumped not straight up, but a little off to the left side. Yes. McDonald. Drops to the sand. Good save. Quigley keeping it very much alive. This cut. Quigley. Ah, that's when Quigley did it. Chujimura doing it well. Yeah, that's better. Better hitting on the part of Japan, Chujimura. We have a technical timeout.
here's a look at the past, a page from the past. Here are the 2023 winners here in Novali. Yep, uh, Tina Godina, Anastasia Samoylova of Latvia. They were the champions. And then the first round up, you can see the players from Spain. And so, then Brazil. And then Brazil, yeah. So even as we speak, there are many uh, different tournaments happening at the same time yeah. throughout the world. Quigley, in the meantime, finds a way to score and makes the count 14 to 8 here in the opening set of this bronze medal match. McDonald will be serving. Yeah, and remember we were talking, and just to remind the viewers, this is a futures tournament. You know, the futures tournament was put together as a de developmental tournament to promote the sport of beach volleyball in host cities. So if you have it, let's say, in the Philippines, in, in let's say, Vietnam, and, and the likes, it just tries to promote the sport, which is good for beach volleyball. And we do have a lot of uh, young players in this particular tournament. In the meantime, that is long on that serve. It is now going to be 15 serving against nine. Yeah, this is a comfortable lead erected by... New Zealand here. Rico. Quigley has been active on her feet. Yes. Nishibori. Blasts away and Nishibori took advantage of that regalo. No blockers there. And yeah, that hit, clips the line there. Regalo is that free ball floating you know, somewhere around the net, usually off a an overpass. It's 10 against 15. Nishibori will be serving. Now the sun has come out, decided to join the party as well. <laughs> McDonald kneeling down, cuts it up and scores to make it 16-10. Yeah, smart. McDonald just realized that on the right side of Japan's court was an open space. I guess that's one of the things you also learn when you play beach volleyball is your awareness of the open spots. Yeah. Your peripheral vision is hard at work. Because it is 50-50, you know, the, def the defense will either cover cross or line. So you're going to hit either cross or line or actually middle. As Quigley was disappointed, she was unable to keep it in play, and the serve now belongs to the Japanese. We have Rico Chujimura. Well, if they want to chase, they have to do it now. This is until 21. That's oh. long. She tried to locate an open area, but the uh, serve frustrated her it's uh, now 17 to 11 we take a change of size as the total number of points is divisible by seven mm. i sound so smart when i say that <laughs> quickly you know when you win third place or the bronze and the last day of the tournament, it's almost like winning a championship as well. Yeah. You go yeah, over right the plane and you are, Honestly, rather than you going over like without winning that battle for third. No, it's it just imagine now, uh, yeah, you have a competition, then you, you go home. Yeah. And then let's say your kids ask, Dad, what did you win? Nothing. Or what did you, I got the bronze. <laughs> Yay. Big difference. You win any money? 1911 <laughs> is the count. 1911, New Zealand. Here's Daniel Quigley. Oh, red hot strike that time by Rico Tujimura. Wait, Tujimura is actually playing really well here. It's just that uh, New Zealand, you know, they can keep this lead. In Japan, a couple of service errors on their end. Nishibori, the more grizzled veteran between the two Japanese players with more experience, and there's a block. That's a monster block for Tsujimura. Riko Tsujimura slamming the door and uh, making it 13 against 19 here. Great read. 
Fujimura trying to keep Japan alive. Though it may look extremely difficult right now. McDonald and there's a net touch. Yeah, that was too near the net. Here comes Japan. Slowly but surely, New Zealand's got to stop. Race to 21, best of three sets. Nishiburi just off the net. McDonald. And it's a free ball. The set. And the delivery by the Olivia McDonald. Mm. She kind of disguised that hit, no? Yes, he did. Look at that. McDonald, that's that point. Tough serve. Still alive. Uh, she would have missed it. And the first set belongs to the team from New Zealand. 21-14. We'll be back with your second set very shortly. Opening set of this bronze medal match of the women's tournament going the way of New Zealand and uh, the pair of Daniel Quigley and Olivia McDonald with a head start here drawing first blood. We take a look at some of the numbers. Well, the numbers actually look pretty close, like attacks 12 to 10 in favor of New Zealand. Blocking is even. The aces, 3 to 0. So at the start, New Zealand was actually serving tough and gave all sorts of defensive problems to Japan. And they were able to, you know, create some separation. A little short charge by Japan, but New Zealand's just able to ward them off. Errors also more for Japan. So for Japan, you would think that they want to start out strong. Less errors on their end, especially on the service line. And Tujimura is off with the first serve. And the net is shaking. The first point belongs to the Japanese pair. Well, quickly, Quigley's momentum. Butter to the net. Look at that. Shujimura will serve a new. Loaded serve. And McDonald got the point on quick for the headline. Yeah, well, that was just smart because as she ran for the ball, she realized that it was killable. <laughs> and she punches it or pokes it to the line. And that tied this second set. First set going the way of New Zealand, 21-14. This is into that spot. And Japan has an early lead of 2-1. Well, that's a good sign. You know, Tsujimura towards the... From the middle to the end of that first set, you saw her game, get, you know, she get, she got going. And uh, if she can bring it here in the second set. Excellent chase down by McDonald. It's very much in play. Quigley scores, and she has done that time and again. You have to give it to the Kiwis. You know, they've been working hard for their points, running, chasing. Yes. And they know because this is their last match. They don't have to worry yeah. about fatigue. Huh? I mean, all out, all in. For all you know, they're flying out tonight. Hmm. After they get uh, their price money, of course. That will drop in. And Japan now ties it up. No, I make uh, that wrong. It's 3-2 uh, Japan, though. 
But I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of these players will make side trips to the beaches here in the oh, Philippines. Yeah. Might as well. Yes. Oh. Oh, despite the fact that that serve looked like it was mishit, it was mishandled on the other end, and Japan now has a two-point lead. Yeah, a shank there by, by McDonald. Oh! oh. That's another service ace. Service ace makes it 5-2. And Rico Tujimura gets her team a three-point lead as we switch sides. Boy, she has been carrying this Japanese team. It, the funny thing yes. is, after that first ace against McDonald, she said, I'm not contented. I'm going to get an ace on Quigley. So an ace off both the Kiwis. Solid serve. Quigley shot. Parried away. That is... Good save. Not going to go down easily. Attack. McDonald. Whoa! Oh, look at that. Sheer industry. Ah, but smart play. <laughs> smart play by McDonald. Well, the game, the name of the game is Outsmart, Outwit. Yeah. And that fell inside. Yeah, we have to commend it. I mean, great chase by both these squads. But McDonald just got the better of that rally. Five against three. Three is serving right now. Quigley. Jumps at the net. And she put it spiking. McDonald shot. Across. That was smart by Japan. But you can see, you know. Because it touched that hand of uh, McDonald. Quigley was on her way to cover the back. Caught out of position then. 6 3 count here in the second. Into the hands of Quigley. McDonald. Quigley through the defense of Jujimura. Jujimura was actually there, but Quigley smart hitting it, powering it through. Olivia McDonald will be serving. Her team currently down by two. And that is outside, making it against seven, against four. Boy, New Zealand lapsing into errors right now. So it is a opportunity, an opportunity for Japan to try to increase their lead. Jujimoda serve. And it is very much playable, but looks it's outside on this final heave. Yes, it is. Oh, Japan pulling away here. Jujimura all set to serve eight against four. McDonald slices it, and it's inside. That was... Uh, New Zealand in desperate need of scoring a point and uh, stopping this run of Team Japan. In play. Good shot that time by Nishibori. And that is taken care of by Takemi Nishibori. And we have a change of sides as the total Number of points is 14. Nine against five. Japanese side ahead. Oh, that's another one from Quigley. She did something like that in the first set, actually. They needed that. More than the point, they needed something to pump them up, to change things, you know, to trigger something in the Kiwis. We're hoping uh, that that shot will steer up some momentum. Mm -hmm. Six against nine. Oh, Whoa. good counter that time. 
about it to the, to the Lord, saying we can take that and we will give it back as well. You know, she is on fire here in the second set, really, from the service area, from the attack area. Here's Chujimura and her serve. Chujimura running well without the ball, actually. And she gets this point, making it 11 to 6. Wait, they're just doing all the right things, all the right moves. Japan. As if they had an alarm clock and they suddenly, uh, they have suddenly sprung to life here yes, in the second yes. set. Thanks uh, largely to Tujimura. Good attack by Quigley. That will make it count 11 against 7. Yeah, but the thing is, for, uh, here in the second set uh, for New Zealand, they'll score one point, then Japan will take it back. So if you're New, Ze New Zealand, you want to score in spurts here. Good adjustment. Oh! It's a perfect assist, you know. Look at the chase of Quigley. And the perfect bump. Wow. It's like a, no, it's like a quick yeah. set. Here's Quigley and her serve too long. That'll make it 12 Four to 8. Well, they're serving with the wind. Yes. The Japanese side seems to have calmed down here. Yeah. Here's Nishiburi. McDonald jam. And it's a net touch. McDonald. She's pursuing the point. So she's contesting the fact that she did not touch the net. Okay, I have yet to find out somebody who will admit it, that they did not touch the net. But anyway, life goes on. We'll be back after the technical timeout. Back with us here, and uh, Danielle Quigley and Olivia McDonald battling uh, Rico Chujimura and Taikimi Nishibori for the bronze medal. The pair from New Zealand lost to the uh, German side, Shinoa Christ and Annalena Gruner earlier today, and we have the serve right now of Takemi Nishibori. Well, the Japanese duo looking pretty good they want to they want to they want to steal this and take us to a third set that did not happen today i mean the viewers don't want all straight sets they want a couple of third sets or three setters 13 to 9 tally here good Mc serve yes mcdonald serve is in play. Quickly. On the line again for Quigley. And on the line attempt that is delivered upon by Quigley. You can hear McDonald screaming the open where the open yeah. spot is. Service out. And the service out. 14, 10, Japan. Japan trying to keep New Zealand at bay. Oh, yes, yes. They, of course, want to push it to the rubber match in the third set. The rubber set, if you may. Here comes down the line. Missed. Attack is out. The lead of Japan. Once again, five points. 
Another five point lead for Japan. You know, New Zealand just can't seem to complete a comeback here yeah. in the second set. Seems to be a barrier in with that five point lead. There was Quigley who gets it to stretch. Kept alive nonetheless. Japanese very using industry and oh, uh, body and Juji Mora successfully keeping that in play. And we know that a six point lead is a luxury at this point. Yes. Nicely done and out of reach. The Japanese side now with a seven point lead. Their confidence zooming at every turn of the second set. Yeah, and when that happens, you do everything right. <laughs> every every yeah. decision you make. And we have a timeout requested. We shall give it to them. Seventeen to ten is the count here in the second set. It's a seven-point lead for the Japanese pair of Rigo Tujimura and Takemi Nishibori. Glad that you could join us on this uh, very fine day as we continue to present to you the FIVB Volleyball World Beach Tour Pro Tour, the futures groupings. Here from Novali Santa Rosa. In the meantime, that's served by Tujimura. Too much heat on that one. We have a change of size because of the divisible number of the total score. Well, if you're Japan, you want to end this now. No, you know? no, no. Now you're ahead by six. You want to end this and do not give New Zealand an opportunity to get some sort of run if ever we go to the third. Blocked, but covered well downstairs. And McDonald takes care of tapping it to that small area in the front line. Well, they need to serve well here, talking about New Zealand. Quickly awaiting permission. Kept alive by Quigley. Goal! Oh, she created that Quigley point. Back-to-back yeah, back -to -back points for New Zealand. That's a good, so good sign and a good start of a rally, Japan. You want to get a stop immediately. Good track done by Quigley. McDonald lifts it and quickly gets it to buy. It's down to 17 14. Second set. Three straight points. Now just down by three. Look at that cross. Ah, well done. That was so good. Nishibori. Nishibori. Just above the net. Set up for quickly. Did she get it? She got it. Oh, that was close. Looked like a bit of a miss hit. But there's a challenge by Nishibori. Where did the ball land? There is our referee jogging to that spot. Parang hidden treasure, it looks like 
There's gold downstairs. <laughs> X marks the spot. Dick here. Japan gets the call. Yeah. It, it was that close. No complaints from New Zealand. Nishibori will be serving. Hey, she's serving well, huh? Yeah. Oh, but there's a bullet. A bullet this time by McDonald. McDonald is the uh, one who will serve. Uh, second referee making sure uh, of the serving sequence. Oh, good serve. Quigley pursues. McDonald reverses. Oh, my God. Oh, 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 oh. Japanese, not exactly the tallest teams here, but they're blocking in place. Nishibori, you know, she has been complimenting Tsunashimi really well. I mean, what a big, big block. Japanese beating the New Zealand side with some hustling in industry. Industry, more than anything else. Hawk, did she miss it? Yep. Yes, she missed it. And the point and the set belongs to Japan. And we have our first three-set affair this afternoon. This is the train most likely for the mental gravity here this yeah. afternoon. Again, they know it's better to get a podium finish than not at all. Yes, indeed. We'll prepare you for the third in just a short while. Okay, there's only one reason why we are in the third set. And the name is the Red Zarate. <laughs> we have... Our venue announcer who is famous for five sets, but back to business now. Look at what happened. I like the uh, effort of the Japanese in that second set, which they deserved, actually. Yeah, I mean, that's why they're here. That's why both these teams are here battling it for bronze. We know that uh, it's supposed to be a good match. It was just a better first set for New Zealand, a better second set yeah. for Japan. We see now the individual talents uh, that have come to play. So this is going to be an interesting third set. Some numbers we just have to stress. New Zealand, although they had more attacks, they had nine errors as compared to two for Japan. The, that in itself speaks volumes of what happened in the second set. Interesting how the scores of the two sets are so similar. 21-14, 21-15, yeah. and um, both uh, these teams. So third set, is it a race to... 15. 15, okay. Yeah. So this will be fast and quick. The one that side that jumps out quickly, and Japan delighted over that one as they now have an early lead at 2 to nothing. More people coming to the venue, and the umbrellas are out. Well, that's not a good sign for New Zealand because if you look at the numbers, the team that has more errors goes on to lose that set. So both teams, have got to check that. It's still early here in the third. Jujimura serve, and this one is long. That's three straight points by the Japanese. As we were saying, the errors will play a huge factor, really, in this third set. 
Chujimura serve. A little more loaded than before. Good read. Yes, indeed. Nishibori pursuing, following it. McDonald quickly got it. First point of New Zealand. Well, after a couple of errors, quickly gets that cross. They needed that. You know, you don't want to be trailing by four or, in the shorter yeah. set. Don't want to be down 6 0, 5 0. McDonald will try to uh, even things up, starting with the serve. Oh! And with the help of the net, they get that second point. It's an ace. And it's a change of sides at five, I believe. So my math about the divisible by seven does not work. Yet. <laughs> does not factor in, in the it's third wrong. set. It, that becomes wrong math already. <laughs> So look at the way McDonald serves. It's like a ballet move. Mm. She poses and then lets it fly. That is hijack there. There is a tap and quickly nearly oh, ran yeah. into the referee's post there. But nonetheless, A for effort. Japanese yeah. bear jump out in front by two. Yeah, and uh, Riko Tsujimura defies the odds that if you're jousting against a taller player the taller player <laughs> in beach volleyball the taller player normally wins nice set and quickly fully capitalizes and yeah, takes you know, advantage of that see her follow through her yes. wrist action really targeting the blocker's hands one point third set race to 15 straight in the hands of Nishiburi who attacks this time, lobs it high, so does Quigley. The D. No, wala yung sombrero ni McDonald, ano eh? In the meantime, the oh. dandelion effort is on target for target four. Well, that's a good comeback on the side of New Zealand. Japan calls and sues for time. We'll be right back. This third set is currently knotted together at four points each for the two sides from Japan and from New Zealand. If you're just joining us, this is the bronze medal match in the women's tournament. Just uh, when we complete business here, we'll have the bronze medal battle for the men involving Latvia and Turkey. Here comes the set. Oh, look at that. Neatly done. Right the other way is Nishibori. Yeah, Nishibori getting in to the scoring half as well. So she, it's a, She's been doing that so well. Yeah. Huh? Great compliment. It started in the set, in actually the end of the first set. Um, Tujimura actually started out by getting her game. And yes. then the second set, she took over. But Nishibori was a great, great compliment. That's off the walking hands of Tujimori. And we are again tied together, and we are going to change sides, divisible by five in the third set, the total score. It's anyone's game. Yes, and look at the flags. They, they have no idea where they're flirting and <laughs> dancing to. Like, and some like are right going one direction, in other, wind, in other words, the wind is also fickle. Ah, the serve too strong. Serve goes out. Six, five, oh, it's such a close match. Yes, so it you is. Know, you don't want to see this. And you feel the tension. Mm. And she bore it with the serve. 
Japan service has improved tremendously. And Nishibori, oh, oh, look at that. Ah, disappointing. Nishibori did not have her feet under her. The sand took over. She did not have balance. And we're tied at six. You know, when you're a spectator and then you're watching that, that play, you say, why wasn't she able to hit it over? <laughs> when you actually try to do it, you'll understand that the, the sand and the gravity of it all. Oh, look at Nishibori doing her earnest best to make up for that point earlier. She again finds the open area. Japan with a slight lead, 7-6 in this race to 15. And Japan looks like they're in high spirits. Yeah, compared to probably how they played this morning. Mm. Oh, red hot to McDonald's. McDonald, who has decided to get rid of her cap for the remainder of this match. It's a hard life, huh? I mean... These players then, let's say they have to fly up, down, pack right away, go, mm. and they move. Yeah, but it, you know, it's the passion really. It's for the, the life they chose. Yes. And that is outside the That's New the Zealand side. Takes the lead. Another change of sides as we have 15 points on the board. I thought it was actually a block. I think she touched the net there. New Zealand in the lead by one. Better serve. Chujimori is there. Quickly. Ooh. Backs it outside. <laughs> Good effort, though. <laughs> it's the elbow movement. Chicken wing. Chicken wing. <laughs> Tied at eight. Red Cross. Still in play. And it's outside. Kiwi side takes the point. Nine eight. Yeah, McDonald did a good job in staying with that ball. Good effort, though, but in the side of the Japanese. <laughs> you see, you see the desperation <laughs> yes. of Tsujimura there. Oh. Well, that serve. Two serves. We're now strung together at nine. I don't want to see the error tally of uh, New Zealand here in the third set. Neither do they. <laughs> Neither. And their coaches. Eleven errors, to be specific. That's inside and the oh, the New Zealand ahead by one. Now, this is the home stretch. This is the home stretch. We'll have another change of sides, no matter who scores the next point. McDonald all set to serve. Oh. Just nip the net. Tough angle. Nowhere to go. And it's a two point lead by New Zealand. That is a huge sorry, by Takemi Nishibori. I mean, they've been playing so well here in the third set. You know, their serve has stabilized, getting a big percentage of their serves in. But there's some uh, errant uh, passes that have affected them here and the improved aggressiveness of New Zealand in the last three or four points. Oh. But this is too much, and it's 11-10. Boy, they give it right back again at this point in the set. It is anyone's game. Here's Nishibori. New Zealand with a two point lead, which could be a luxury the way this match has been played so closely. Yes. Good set. Good recovery of the coverage. Tough angle to work with. She had actually slanted her body in the air, made do, and scored. Watch this. Yeah. Just enough to get it to the line. Mm -hmm. 
Juju Mura serving play. And it's We are tied at 12. Japanese scratching back. Boy, what a huge block. Tsuji Mura just in the zone right now. Interesting habit she has before she serves, she kicks off the sand. I guess she's trying to look for her footing for her takeoff foot. Oh, Japan is in the lead right now. Nishibori. Let's let them play with a tough angle. Mm. Another change of sides here. Yeah, but what composure being shown by the Japanese, you know, after they seemed a little shaky at the tens of this uh, of this third set, but they bounce right back and now grab the lead, 13 to 12. And we have a timeout. We'll allow the players and ourselves to catch up. You know, if you look at this picture, you might think we're in Palawan, Boracay, somewhere. Somewhere. But where there's, there's no ocean here, no sea. Beaches. We're here. <laughs> in this magnificently crafted, created venue in New Valley. What a tribute to the beach volleyball game, huh? So many other tournaments will happen here. Japan by one. It's out. It's out. And Japan is at match point. Japan now against point. I don't want to hear my voice anymore about <laughs> talking about errors because another error. Bronze medal point indeed. Quigley. Energy. Ah, oh, McDonald. Touch the net. She brushed it. Clearly so, New Zealand, unfortunately, could not take the lead away from Japan that did so well in the second and third sets. Yeah, that was a desperate attempt to try to get the point, but to no avail. What Japan about the Japanese? Three sets, 14, 21, 21, 15. And a great uh, piece of sportsmanship by all four players. Wow, we're done with the bronze medal match. Uh, Japan winning the bronze here. They did not win against the U.S. in the semis, but they won here against New Zealand. That's a good medal to bring home. That's true. We'll take a short break, and uh, we'll wrap this up where they look at some numbers and some choice cuts, and we'll prepare you for the men's battle in the bronze, for the bronze, that is. We'll have you ready in just a short while. Team of Japan, Riko Jimura and Takemi Nishibori winning in three sets against the team from New Zealand. Yeah, the greatest or the biggest takeaway from that match is if you're down, 
you're not necessarily out. You know, Japan looked like, you know, they were out of it in set one when you saw the score 21 14. You know, that was a pretty dominating uh, win by New Zealand, but they came back fighting. And then when they started challenging and winning points, and then they won yeah. the second set, in the third set, it was a totally different story, right? It wasn't. Oh, the, the confidence of New Zealand wasn't there anymore. They're committing the errors once again, which was obviously their Waterloo in today's game. So one thing they have to, you know, take back and learn from uh, in future term tournaments moving forward. But what a fight back from Team Japan. Absolutely great initiative uh, to pick up the action by the Japanese pair. As we take a look at the numbers uh, that transpired in that match. Well, if you look at uh, total attack points, New Zealand led the way 32-25. The blocking, the smaller team with the, with more blocks, three to one. Tsujimura was huge there. Aces by one New Zealand, by two New Zealand. But it is the error. That's the story of the match. New Zealand with 20 errors, almost an entire set. And again, one thing they want to learn from because this is their their partnership is not going to end here. We're going to see much more of them in future tournaments. Okay, Noreen, and uh, we will prepare the court and the set, everything here in Novali in preparation for the men's bronze mat battle between Latvia, Tom's Lipa, Ernest Pushkudzis, up against Turkey's Hossein Memar and Sajid Kurit. And we shall have that battle ready for you in just a short while.
And the Volleyball World Beach Tour continues here from the Valley in Santa Rosa City in the Philippines. And the game at hand is the second of four scheduled for the afternoon program, which is all medal round matches. The bronze medal match involving Latvia, Tom Zlipa, Ernest Puskundis, and they will face Turkey's Osan Hussein Mermer and Sanjit Kirk. And um, it's interesting that uh, the team that the uh, Latvians lost to is the Philippines that will be playing later on for the gold against the team from the Czech Republic. But uh, these are two tall teams that we will have here in this bronze medal match. It's going to be very exciting to see because, yeah, I mean, when you see the Giants by the net, you see the Jows. I mean, it's going to be quite interesting. Also, more important is both these teams were contenders, obviously, yes. for the gold, but they have to settle for the bronze. As you can see, what happened this morning, you did mention no, Boitrago and Varga actually won that. And uh, they're into the gold. And then in the after, uh, after that, the Czech Republic defeated Turkey. So Turkey have to settle with Latvia for the bronze medal. Yes, indeed. Then the thing to note about these, uh, play these uh, four players, they just quite noticeable that they were frustrated with a mm -hmm. variety of things mm -hmm. as the matches proceeded, their own play, some calls that didn't go their way. And uh, there is the result, the confirmation of the result as they lost to Boitrago and Barca of the Philippines today. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people were surprised that even the men's matches went straight sets. So, yeah, I mean, it go, it's really interesting to see how both these pairs will make changes coming into this match. Like, uh, we'd like to see how Hussain, Hussein Mermer and uh, Sajid Kirk make adjustments uh, in the afternoon you know it's so fascinating they were warming up some of them without their shirts on again feeling beach mm -hmm. everybody feeling the beach without the ocean they lost to oliva and Kurka earlier today in straight sets as well well that was a match that could have gone either way but uh what you did mention they were you know it seemed like they had problems they couldn't get over right they were complaining about calls and then they looked frustrated so you know that they're better teams than that but again it is what it is it is part of the game and interesting to see what gives here in the battle for bronze already our podium for the women already filled up for the bronze medal the team from japan Riko Chujimura and Takemi Nishibori won against New Zealand just a moment, a few moments ago, by scores of 21 14. Um, now, let's do that properly 14 21, 21 15, and 15 12. Mm -hmm. And um, we're just about ready to set the uh, court for the proceeding. It's so hard uh, as you take a look at what they're doing to the uh, volleyball court we have here. They have to even out the uh, sand time and time again so that uh, it also does not cause any injuries to the players. And also to preserve the quality of the game, you know, it is the World Beach Pro Tour. So, yeah, you want the, everything as even as possible. Okay, let's turn it over. Is his name Protocol? No, his name is Noel Sarate. Go ahead, Noel. Take out the way. Introduce everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for the men's bronze medal match. And before we begin, let's introduce our officials, our first referee, Fernando Velarde from the Philippines. Second referee, Geoffrey Ronquillo from the Philippines. And the bronze medal match is between Turkey and Latvia. Let's meet the members of Team Turkey. Number one, Hassan Hussein Mermer. Number two, Sajid Kurt. 
Their opponents from Latvia. Number one, Tom Sliepa. Number two, Ernest Puchkindis. The winner of this match takes the bronze medal in the men's division. Good luck to both teams. Four of the players, we had the fun and enjoyment of learning how to pronounce their names. And of course, our venue announcer, Noel Zarate, helping us. Uh, Noel asks the players how their names are pronounced. So there's an understanding on how they are pronounced. So, aside from international pronunciation, the game of volleyball is set to get underway. Murmur of Turkey all set to uh, get us underway. Yeah, it's a good start, good serve. And good pickup that time by Kurt. And Kirby, better energy at least at the start by this Latvian side. Their energy really dipped when they could not get the points that they wanted to score against mm. the Philippines. Yeah. The frustration would set in. It was so clear, right, in their body language. Kurt gets it back off a set. Good slide to the floor that time by Ernest. And this time, Vermeer unable to get it. Well, good start by Latvia there. First a stuffed block, and then Pushkundis just finds the line there. 2-0. race to 21 and if we need a third set we have a race to 15 which happened in the bronze medal match for the women in the meantime Sajid Kurt takes care of scoring for Turkey yeah great kill cross court to totally eluding the arms of Tom's Liepa here's Liepa and Murmur touching it last before it trickled out Latvia is ahead by two here in the opening set. Well, we, we will expect uh, actually both these tandems not to go at it, so it's going to be close. Again, nice to go home with something like a bronze medal and the third prize and uh, some crucial points that will help you for the next tournament. Mm -hmm. Well, tournaments are year-round, so yeah, I mean, it's important to get as much points as you can because, of course, the main goal is to get to the highest level of competition, the elite level. Third prize, of course, gets 160 points per player mm. and $500 for the team. In the meantime, a very lively exchange. Kurt? Lipa. Oh, great save that time Whoa. by Ernest. Hello, we are still in play, but not anymore. Well, good effort, though. Good stretch, good dive. But you see the difference between beach and indoor. You know, I mean, after all the hustle here, it's if you're that far, it's quite hard. You know, to, because of the conditions to get it in, into play. Yes. When you're indoor, it's like, okay, if it's far, you know where it is. You know how to get it over. There's uh, Murmur, who together with Kurt playing in their first ever Pro Tour event as a team. Murmur is playing in his 52nd FIB tournament, and his best finish in a tour event was third place. So he's going getting for another third place here today. Well, as you said that, uh, Lucky bounced off the net through his serve, so he gets the ace and the lead for Turkey. Four to three for Turkey. Mer Mer taking his time. Big, big serve. Almost, but not quite. Which going to Turkey. Diving with a lot of enthusiasm, but uh, unable to sustain it. Five to three is the count. Turkey with the early lead here in the first. Yeah, good effort though by Latvia. Rocket serve from Murmur. 
that is going to bite on a check ball. Kurt unable to handle it. Taken care of by Ernest Pushkundis. Well, calm slip. I was actually there, but yeah. Just, whoa. Ooh, check ball. Murmurs. Heave. Touched last by the Latvian side. You know, that was what the coaches of Turkey were waiting for that explosion of uh, Hassan Murmur in the first match today, but in their first match today, but they will be fighting for bronze. They are fighting for bronze. Excellent pickup that time by Kurt, who's back in there. Mermer gives a foot away from it. That will make the match 6 5 here in the first set. Very close first set. Push Kundis with a push. Right here, tough angle. Tom's Liepa, uh, 19 years old, and Puskundis, also 19, playing in their fifth tournament as a pair. Neither have been paired with a different player. And the pair, uh, this time, the first time the pair has made the semi finals and the final, uh, the medal round of an FIVB event. They also play indoor volleyball for a Latvian club, Ozi Limbazi. Can't get enough volleyball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you, you know, when you read the history of a lot of players, you see new new tandems, you know, new partnerships. You know, that is always, always teams also evolving, trying to find the right partner. That's a crafty move that makes the score seven to six. Ernest Pushkundis will serve a new. Nice, interesting routine. He yeah. makes a kick with the sand, pushes it uh, away, and scores the ace as we hit a total of 14 points. Watch this ace. Push Kundis. Ooh, that was close. It could have gone out, actually, yeah. so based on that slow-mo. As we swift, uh, shift sides, rather. Rennes Pushkundis will be serving still. We're right in uh, the middle of a commercial and residential area. And, uh, this is such a major development for beach volleyball in the country, having this facility. Huh? So many tournaments can happen here. Mm -hmm. Both local and international, because the standards of the way it was constructed is for international tournaments. Yeah, and also it, it is a national team if they yeah. want to practice here. It's not a lot of you know world-class beach volleyball courts. Yes, which is hard to maintain in our country. Oh, yeah. yes. In the meantime, that shot by Lierpa is on target. We are squared up at eight points apiece. Latvians are the only pair to make it into the semis without a bye in the round of 12. And they got uh, a big uh, win over a tournament favorite. In the meantime, they continue to feel good about themselves. They have a 9-8 lead here. One error there by Murmur trying to sneak one off the back set. 9-8. Lipa with his serve, he nearly blocked it, but not convincingly. It's off his fingertips, reaches for it. Puskundis is there, heaves it over. Here's Kurt. And Mermer knocks it down in the corner. Well, Lipa actually moved back, decided not to block. And Mermer was all over that. Our score is currently strung together at nine points each for both our sides. And let's go back to the serve as Hassan Hussein Mermer. Liepa with a good save, oh. but that's out of reach. Exactly, Noel Zarate. That was wicked from Mermer. And, and somehow, um, in that match against the Czechs, again, you know, you I would hear the coaches trying to encourage them, waiting for all those yeah. hits. The cool, calculated game of the Czech uh, Republic, uh, they played percentage volleyball mm -hmm. there. They didn't get rattled, despite the fact that uh, 
the Turkey team was breathing down their necks in the uh, second set. Czech Republic will meet the Philippines in the gold medal match to close the tournament. Here's Kurt. And we have arrived at the technical break. 21 points in total for both these teams. One point lead by Latvia as of the moment. continues here in the Beach Pro Tour Futures Tournament here in Novali just outside Metro Manila about an hour hour 15 minutes on a good uh, road trip and uh, you're watching us from uh, the Philippines of course 11 10 is the count here the reverse set and that is off the block for Kurt Sergeant Kurt hits it off the block and the score is now up together at 11 apiece well it's a testament to how evenly matched these teams are height wise length wise <laughs> you know it is 11 all yes and Kurt can't get to it you know because of the nature of the sand and the Flooring, quote unquote. It's a game of angles, really. Mm -hmm. It's a game of angles because you can't pursue the ball in the same way you pursue it in indoor. As you said, the gravity, sand, and everything else pulling you down. Oh, that's just into the corner. And Puskundis looked at it and said, Oh, God, it's done. Speaking of pulling you down, that powerful. It just went down Latvia's court. How close is this? 12 ball. Bullet serve mm -hmm. handled well. Ernest. And too long on that attack. What has been that way so far in this first set? A one point lead, two point lead, one point lead tie. One point lead. Sounds like a dance. Team. Yeah. One, two, swing up. One, two, three, down. Hmm. Murmur. Nice set. Yeah. And Murmur has to stretch for it. He was actually there. Right, when you look at this slow you will see. He was actually there. Maybe just one step. Skindis, Mer Mer, Kurt. There's uh, the battle at the net, and you know, I feel for the Latins when they get this courage and they can't get to the ball. You see their shoulders really sag down, <laughs> and their heads just drop. 14 13, still very much into it though. Yeah, just one one point game. It has been for quite some time. Oh, great strike that time. And it's Pushkindis. And uh, we will alter size right now as we are at 14 apiece. There you go again, Marie. One, two, up, tie, tie, tie. <laughs> one, two, up, one down, tie. No. <laughs> it's, it's actually a slow grind here, you know? Yeah. The pace of the game. Because both are playing careful volleyball. Yes. Percentage volleyball. Here comes Mermer. Sets it oh. up for Kurt. Oh, oh. he got that. Well, he, his hitting, if he gets the proper approach, is on point here in the first set. Block was nowhere close. Mm. 
one handed pick up by Kurt. Who gets it on you? The dig. Push Skundis. Ooh. The track goes out. It's long. I thought he nicked the corner, but did not. Mm. 16 14 Turkey. Two point lead for Turkey. This is where most of the separation happens, huh? This He's is going where... towards 20 points, huh? Yeah. But this is where Turkey wants to create more separation. Off the fingertips of Kurt, who attacks. Can't get it to roll into an open spot. This one. Oh. Nice effort. And they avoided the near collision on the sand. But it's now a three-point lead. Well, that's a good sign for Turkey. It's not anymore one, two. It's one, two, three in favor of Turkey. Yeah, it's um, rare that uh, a side has taken a three-point lead. Opportunity for Tom Sliepa to clean his uh, eyeglasses, his uh, shades. And officially, a timeout, has, timeout been, by Latvia. has been requested by Latvia. We'll take this break. We're beginning to get a crowd here. Uh, the sun <laughs> has cooperated and mm -hmm. decided to watch, to watch volleyball also. And uh, this is free to the public. So if you're still hanging around, the Philippines will play for the gold medal later on as the last game of the tournament. Uh, James Boitrago and Brancel Varga will go up against a pair from the Czech Republic. Oh. Yes. Mm. See the net touch? It seemed like it. The second referee was yeah, pointing to the, the net. The first referee was the one who made the first call. <laughs> we'll see here. Yep. Definitely so. What a time for that to happen. You know, when things get uh, troublesome for the Latvians, it's one layer after another. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well done. That is off the block for Latvia. Better response there for Latvia. Wow, the lights are up. <laughs> That's how complete the venue this is. Huh? We can play beach volleyball at night. Actually. <laughs> That's the argument. Why not start at night? <laughs> night volleyball. Read us down to just two. But you have to consider the Philippine weather. When the rainy season kicks in, you may want to really start early, and most Maybe rain not. happens in the afternoon. Yeah, true. Good. Oh! He totally floored it. And increases the lead. It's a three again, and it is two steps away from pocketing this first set. Yeah, Sajid Kurt really here in this match, here in this first set, boy, he has been hammering that beach volleyball. And uh, Mermer knows where to give it to him. They seem to have this nice understanding of who is going to do most of the hitting here. That serve in play. That is blocked, but the, the block Latvians out. take the point. What's up, yeah? Who murmurs actions actually points to a little bit of a fatigue here. He's been resting on his knees. Some of the telltale signs, no? Mm. 
two point lead by Turkey. That's out of reach. Out That's of a play. Play for Tom and we have a one point first set. <laughs> Okay, they just changed the narrative. It became one, two, three, four, three, two, one. <laughs> uh, the scale of the music just changed. Yeah. And the timeout, I think, has been requested by Turkey. They'll uh, try to find an opportunity to recalibrate. The remainder of our program here in the Valley, uh, we will have the gold medal matches. First, the women will follow this uh, battle for bronze, and the men will have Germany going up against the U.S. And the men's tournament will bring this um, festive day or stretch of volleyball uh, here at the Navali Sands Court with the Philippines playing against the Czech Republic for the gold. There's still time to head on over here yes. to cheer for Team oh, Philippines. Yes, indeed. In the meantime, Mayor Mayor brings them to set point. And a slow walk to the service area. He did his part after that timeout. He knew he had to get the point. Nice and easy. And the uh, yes, set is far from over. A set point is safe. Well, they need a stop. They need one good block, a solid block. Mer Mer, top set. Oh. And I think we're going to be tied. That's a good touch. Oh. Yeah, I'm yeah, there with fatigue and probably I'm feeling something. Uh, yeah, no, I, I think so good. too. It's a really slow walk now. 20 all, race it to a two point lead. Oh. Oh. After having the set point, it now belongs to the other side. Oh, that's a painful error because Sajid. Kurt has been playing so well here in this first set. And now Latvia serving oh. for this. Why oh, the irony of sport? You may have the lead, but if you don't close the door, it's not going to be yours. That's true. Watch this. This looked like an awkward serve if you think about it. And it was, however, too difficult to handle and push on this, enjoying the moment. At the end of the set, it is 22-20. Latvia takes the early lead. That's the uh, confirmation of the score, 22 to 20, one set uh, lead now by Latvia. And uh, look at the numbers that happened. Some of the errors happened towards the end. Yeah, and it's actually the fight eh? more than anything. It's the fight of uh, Turkey that uh, kind of disappeared because of the fatigue we saw. Clearly, slow walk and that last, he didn't, Mermer didn't even chase anymore. So. 
Yeah, that you just stuck it with it. Wow. You know, Sajid Kirk has given these nice sets coming from Murmur, and he's really getting it at the height of the set. And he's showing some great vertical leaping ability. One to nothing. Turkey already on the board. Oh, they missed that one. Curtis Pushkin is missing, and he just saw, you know, from our angle, that really looked such like a big acre patch of land, actually. Yeah. Yes. Well, scores were adjusted. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Ah, and this was not the same Latvian team that played the Philippines earlier. A little more enthusiastic what a uh, change in the score and uh, your fortunes can do yes and then also the the rest in between matches i think uh, made a lot of difference yeah, yeah. that is inside that is on the line a point for turkey well sajid kirk actually knows he has to dig deep because he has to try to carry mer 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 here we are speculating, of course, you know, that a bit of uh, fatigue yeah. just set in. But I'm sure he wants to carry on and tie this up. In the meantime, Latvia moves ahead 3-2. to two. Well, Latvia should know better. They, just should, they should just hang around, you know, stay in the thick of things. Good skid. That was missed by Mer Mer. Oh, but it's called a check ball. So, it is Turkey that obtains the point. Yeah. Tom Sliepa's outstretched arms. We are all tied together at three. Here's Mer Mer. Oh, <laughs> cross court delivery. Tom Sliepa. Oh, what a matchup right now. Sajid Kirk against Tom Sliepa. You know the tough part of beach volleyball also? There's no sub. <laughs> Nobody to come in for you, and that volleyball is out of reach. Yepa with a service ace makes it down 5 3. They are now targeting Murmur, right? They know they need to take advantage of this, this moment. Mm. Good. Ah. Another ace. Two straight aces. Well, you know, they're trying to keep Turkey guessing as much as even I thought they're going to start targeting Mermer. They went to Sajid Kurt. Yepa continues to serve. Good set. Locked and inside. That's another point. That's three straight points of the service stretch. Of Turkey wants to talk things over. Catch their breath, take a, a big drink, and try to recoup. Okay, and the wind speed a little stronger in the afternoon, temperature dipping, and the humidity is on a roller coaster, actually. We're uh, darting from 50% to 61%. That was how we started today. Humidity, of course, is amount of uh, moisture, water mm -hmm. in the air. Ooh. 
considering that uh, technical, not technical timeout, that uh, bit of a rest there. I saw Murmur actually gave himself like a water bath, trying to wake him up. But still, yeah, but tra targeting him. Whoa! And we have another race. That's his fourth of the set for Giappa. Giappa getting away with everything he wants to do <laughs> service-wise. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Why? He's tried everything. Go deep, go short. Here he'll go short, I suspect. But always I'm wrong. <laughs> and so to go long. <laughs> There's nothing short about that. <laughs> no, but uh, Nepo is serving really well and uh, they were trying to pull away. Four against nine. Yep. That's it again. Yep again for Latvia. And we will change sides as we come to a total of 14 points. Well, we have to remind the viewers, you know, the journey of Latvia. They actually were the ones who booted out the tournament favorites. So. You know, they, uh, people are expecting Came them from, to make uh, it. Sweden or Germany, I think. Yeah, I think Germany. So they were expected to actually make it to the gold medal match, but yeah, they fell that short. Is off the block for Point goes to Turkey. We will call well, it's a five-point lead here for Latvia. Serve. But Sun suddenly darted out into uh, the open space, but it's out. Well, if you're Latvia, you know you have the advantage, but you don't want to get complacent here. And you don't want to actually give life and hope to Turkey. You're not right about Germany. They defeated Philip Huster and Bennett Bonivash. 21-19, in the quarterfinals. Now mm -hmm. well, is helping out in the scoring department. And the lead is five points. And they have been successful with uh, Tom's Liepa serving. Yeah, Tom's game has picked up several notches and Murmur finding open spots and big dive that time by Liepa, but uh, unable to get to it though. 11, 7, and 7 will be serving against 11. 7 yes. serving 11. Good serve. Nice set. That yeah. just knows what exactly they should be doing. Pushkundis, look at that. Just look. using a bit of wrist. Yeah. Not really um, a lot of hand there. Oh, oh. Yeah. door sealed. Key thrown away. Nobody allowed to enter. Oslepa really on fire here. Overpass. Mm. Oh. Yeah. And is just a smart play. Why should we swing it around now like this way? We're looking right away. 14 to 7. Technical timeout is in progress. Here's a look at the uh, possible prizes, uh, the gold, silver, all the way to the 13th spot. Yeah, what is important, well, aside from, of course, prize money, 
you want to rack up some points because it's a it's a, actually the journey of these players, you know, to get to the elite level of competition wherein prize money matters. Much larger, of course. Yeah. But uh, since it's called elite, uh, you gotta earn the points to, to be able there, to no? join that yeah. group. Brief conference. <laughs> Murmur, trying to blow off some steam, actually. Talking uh, to our referee, referee Villarde. This serve does not work. So the gives the point to Turkey. It's every 14. Well, let's see if there's some I gas left in, in Turkey's, Turkey's tank. That's something we shall check out as to how the mileage and the gas tank goes. That's loaded. No. Oh, yes, sir. That's and a he says, I'm not bad. tired. I'm ready. Just needed to catch my second win. Yes. I needed that water bath. That's a great serve. Jeff is there. And he counters. And man, man, man. Put away from getting a chance to put it in play. Yeah, but those were two. We got to give it to Mer Mer, no? Those are two good serves on his end, but just a great response by Liepa. Well oh. said, and they get instantly bounced at the net, and the lead is seven points, and frustration just mounts and mounts for mm -hmm. Turkey. Mm -hmm. Five aces. aces. Wow. Yeah. This one is not an ace. As we say that, service error. 16 10. Sanchez Kurt now serving for Turkey. Kurt will be serving. Skundis. Oh, net touch. And either that or the point straight away. Either or. 17-10 and 17, 10, the team Latvia. from Latvia now making big leaps towards the finish line. Mm -hmm. That's inside. So smart. Switch hands with the lead, still belonging to Latvia, 18 to 10 over Turkey. And you, you see, no, did, did, did you actually notice Latvia? They're so aware of the score. They always know they're ready when to change. Yes. And they're always the first. Let's get, let's get, let's get, let's get do this faster so we can get there. Yeah. We have a plight. <laughs> Nice drop, mm, but save. kept in play. Good, great touches by both sides. Oh, good defense by Puskandis. And the empty area. Well, that seemed like a point for Turkey, but Latvia just stayed with it. Good save, good digs, and Liepa once again. And this is not just a big leap. This is a giant step towards the it finish. It is, it is. Mer, mer. Oh. And we are at match one. The attack goes out. Yeah, that was just the frustrated attack there. The Sajid Kurt. Well, after all of that, match point. Bronze medal point. Whoa. And we are done. We are done. <laughs> you know, after losing earlier today and you go home with a win, why not? <laughs> they are elated and why not? And straight sets win by Latvia, 22-20. 21-10, they um, joined Japan in the podium, although they will be separate podiums. <laughs> Japan earlier picking up the bronze in the women's competition, and now Latvia taking it here in the men's. We'll wrap this up very shortly with some highlights and some numbers.
The uh, Latvian pair of Tom Sliepa and Ernest Kuskundis bringing home the bronze medal in straight sets against the pair of Melmer and Kurt from Turkey. And some big moments. They controlled the serve. Mm -hmm. They controlled the rhythm of the match. It was close uh, for a moment in the first set, actually. They were alternating set points. But Latvia winning out 22-20 to 20 and then dominating in the second. Yeah, they had to actually crawl their way out of that first set. It was a nip and tuck affair in the latter part, but they prevailed. And that win actually changed the complexion of this match. They dominated Turkey in the second set. We have to say, Mermer looked a bit out of sync. We're hoping that he's not feeling any injuries. It's yes, more of course. fatigue. At least that is uh, more treatable, rehydration. So that's what happened, but you've got to give it to Latvia, you know. They played with great energy. Right. Um, they were <laughs> enthusiastic. I think when they got the rhythm going, they began to enjoy the game and got away with good serves. Lipa with some service aces. And uh, la last look at the numbers. Okay, 24 to, to 17 in terms of attacks and the blocking. Boy, those were huge stops on the side of Latvia. Aces, 8 to 2. A lot of them. I think five in that second set. Liepa just really a monster game. A monster second set. And, uh, yeah, they win it in straight sets. And coming up next, we will have the first of two gold medal matches. We'll start with the women. And the women will have uh, Germany. Chinoa Christ up again uh, together with rather Anna Leina Grune. And they will battle Alaina Chacon and Mariah Whelan. And that's something to look forward to, plus the fact that the Philippines will be playing in the men's gold medal match against Czech Republic. Don't go too far away. Keep it here in the Pro Beach Pro Tour here in the Valley.
Yes, we welcome you to the Novali Sands Court. It's time for the last two matches of the day, and fittingly so, these are the gold medal matches. We will start with the women's category, and we will go with Germany against the USA. It's going to be Shinoa Christ and Anna Lena Grune up against Elena Chacon and Mariah Whalen. And the Philippines will be playing later on tonight in the gold medal match for the men against the Czech Republic. Good. It's going to be a good two games here um, to bring our tournament to a close, uh, Noreen. Well, I just have to say how time flies when you're having fun. We're down to our last two games. You're just so excited to be here the entire weekend. And how fitting. Yes. Gold medal match. Yes, indeed. And a good size crowd has uh, begun to join us here and joining all of you wherever you're catching this all-important international tournament. It's known as the Futures. It's a developmental Face. There are three other categories like Elite Challenge and Futures gives us an opportunity to host events like this here in the Philippines. It just goes to show the progress uh, of beach volleyball because you see that they are developing it in different countries. Okay, this is what has happened so far. Japan already has the bronze medal and then later on we'll find out who wins the gold and the silver. Yeah, uh, well, before that, uh, U.S. defeated Japan to get to the gold medal match, and Germany defeated New Zealand. So this is the gold medal match between Germany and the USA. What you will see on your screens are four very good players, and they have contrasting styles of play. Let's take a look at Germany first. Yeah, I mean, we saw, we saw them, you know, in today's game. All matches in the morning went straight sets, and Germany really... We can see quickly, and uh, McDonald, yeah, they, they were defeated today. But um, actually, it's good to see here how they're going to play at the gold medal match because they have to also, even though they won, they have to make the adjustment. Oh, yes. You know, because of the court conditions as well. So gold medal match is a totally different ball game. Position of the sun has changed. The wind has uh, changed also. The lights are partially up. And the American pair... Um, of Alena Chacon and Mariah Whalen. They won against the Japanese pair that eventually picked up the bronze. Yeah, another straight set victory there that they defeated Tsujimura and Nishibori this morning and they showed dominance. Uh, you like uh, their composure throughout the day and they're going to see if they can do that and pull it off against Germany. You will like uh, Chacon and Whalen and the teamwork in which they display and um, they have not been together for all that long but uh, they seem like they are uh, playing for quite some time and are we ready and let's send it to Noel Zarate for the introduction of the officials as well as the players ladies and gentlemen it is now time for the gold medal match in the women's division of the FIVB Volleyball World Beach Pro Tour Futures New Valley between Germany and the United States of America. Let's first meet our officials for this match. Our first referee, Joven Racelis from the Philippines. Our second referee, Abby Melek Llarena from the Philippines. And now let's meet Team Germany. Number one, Chinoa Christ. And number two, Annalena Gruna. Their opponents from the United States of America. Number one, Elena Chacon. Number two, Mariah Whalen. This match is for the gold medal. Good luck to both teams. We are all set to send the, the ball into play. First sub of the match to Germany. The Germans will be serving first. Our referee is Jürgen Reselis and from the Philippines. In the meantime, the first, first point the the USA. is scored by the Americans. Well, it's important for both these teams to try to establish dominance 
here in the start of the set. This is a this is a very evenly matched yes battle for gold. What you will like here is the way they the two teams play strategy here. Look at that left-handed stab. That's what we're going to see uh, a lot from uh, Anna Lena Gruna. We're tied at one. The one thing we realized in uh, the early mor the morning match was how Germany actually plays it smart. Stuff block there. And just for a reminder, the Germans won against the Kiwis and the Americans won against the Japanese yes. early today. And as you were pointing out, it's a, it was a morning of straight sets. The only time we had a third set was uh, this afternoon. Yeah, that was just one match. Yeah, that was the Japan win against New Zealand. Uh, they picked up the bronze medal. They won against New Zealand 14-21, 21-15 and 15-12. The serve is in play. The Germans in the lead. This is done cleanly. Genoa. But we did mention no one thing we noticed with Team Germany is how patient they are in playing. Strategic and smart. So USA has got to counter that. My mistake. That was Lena Shakorn. Okay. Genoa's on the other side. In the meantime, that's out of reach. The Germans have a two point lead. Here in the first. Well, strong start for Germany. You already have a stuff block and a couple of kills there. Here's Christ. Drop. Cleanly done. On the one two successful for Team USA as we now switch hands. Whalen making the clean drop. The United States behind by one as of the moment. Well, it's pretty similar when you look at the the play of both these teams. You have a taller team, for team USA. And, yeah, a taller a player and a not so tall player. So it's pretty much the same dynamics yeah. for both these teams. Chris and Grune. Chris is 23. Grune is 22. Are playing in their fourth event as a pair. And they finish as high as second in the Futures event oh. earlier this year. As that is saved and in play and scored upon. Well, credit at the Grune, really, for diving for that. First this. Good save. And then she gets the kill. In the meantime, the serve. Whalen. Shikon gets it. Well, has been the corner. actually Force responding Chacon. well also for Team USA. Going cross. Well, it's serving for the United States. Well, and serve. No, oh, that's blocked. Monster block for Mariah Whaling. Monster, 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 monster. That's going to be a great matchup. That's a, we're going to have quite the battle of the net here today. Kristen Whalen, no? Yeah. And Christy also, Chris likes to battle there also. Whalen unable to get that, though. The hands. The lead goes back to Germany. Yeah, just enough power to, to, it, to, to keep it out of reach for Whalen. Genoa Chris now serving for Germany. Chacon is 25 years old, Waylon, same age, and they established their partnership late last year. Both are just a few years out of college. Chacon went to Florida State, while Waylon went to Wisconsin. They've been um, doing well in futures events. Finished fourth in Mollymook, Australia, third in New Zealand, then second again in Australia. As the trend continues, they're hoping to get a first place finish here. Finally, yeah, yeah. because they've got uh, a second, a third, a fourth. And if the numbers continue in Sesame Street fashion, <laughs> they hope to finally the win one. But the Germans giving them quite a battle here. The switch heads now. It is eight to six. For eight Germany. to six. The Germans ahead slightly. Well, what a battle we have so far. We've seen 
Great kills, good digs, good saves, and, and stuff blocks yeah. from both camps. We had promised that this would be quite a battle between these two finalists. Hmm. Service out. Still a close first set. But it doesn't mean that they won't have errors. They so will. Team <laughs> USA, yeah, Ryan Too much power in that serve. Waylon serve. Bruno. Kirsten. Waylon. Oh. Oh, just ended up short. Point goes to Germany. Good effort, though. Nine to seven for Germany. You see the importance of this match. Uh, they're just diving for the loose balls. The serve will now belong to Germany. Genoa Christ serving. Genoa Christ be serving. There's a request uh, for a brief timeout. There's some sand probably in the face of uh, um, Mariah Whalen. I'm not sure if she's wearing uh, sunglasses. I think they all are. I'm not sure, huh? I don't think so. Oh, yeah. So, cursed with the serve. The strike. Oh, Runa. Still alive. A cut shot. Runa gets to it. But delivered upon by the U.S. And they come within a point. Yeah. Chris, actually, Whalen keeping USA in, I mean, keeping it close, close. here, yeah. Just a uh, breath away from the Germans. Gruner, now on attack mode, takes care of business with that left handed stab. He did say Gruner, really a smart player, choosing to put, you know, which spots, which open, looks open spots to put that ball. Shakan. With turn that time by Curse and the open right area the filled up by Gruna. Anna Lena Gruna. Three point lead. <laughs> you, oh, and that service is. You just can't help but admire the confidence of the Germans as they do about their business, go about their business. Watch this ace. And they, they also have really, you know, that, that, that their aura, their body yes, language. Yes, yes, Well, they, and that is out, however. That goes out. As uh, to the technical timeout, we, go. we slide into the technical timeout. It's a three-point lead USA. by the team of Christ and Bruno of Germany. Back with us here in the uh, the Valley Sand Court in the Valley Santa Rosa City Laguna. Sam Samantha and Noreen go here doing your matches today. Final day of competition of the Volleyball Seven Beach Pro Tour. The futures happening here in Novali. Here comes the set. And the strike. Germans controlling the mood and tempo of the match. Yeah, what otherwise was a close start here. Germany has created some sort of separation. Smart hitting yes, on their end. That's exactly right. 39. Good serve. Shokan has to lift it up. Blasts away. 
Chris scores again. Yeah, that's a great matchup, like we said, and Chris just hits it off Wayland's hand. Look at that. Germans ahead by five. Wallen, Wayland, rather. Gruna jumps into it. That's off the block. And the Germans getting away with everything they want to do in this first set. Yeah, Team USA just got to find that uh, that stop. You know, one good kill right now to stop the run of Germany. They have to do some things on the defensive end here. Oh, she was going, ah, uh, I knew it. She looked at that spot. It was so tempting. She found it so spacious, but uh, ended up misdirecting it as the Americans the arrived at 10 points. For the United States. And you can see also it went with the wind, no? The wind kind of oh, that's also true. helped it out. That's also true. 10 against 15 here. The reverse set by Gruna. The cut shot. The punch, short. That's an attack here. It's not a time for USA to rush things, you know, rush into these decisions. You still have to be deliberate and try to find a streak. You got to come up with a streak. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Somehow get some points strung together here. Check on gets it to buy. Yeah, Chacon hits it off. Rune in there. 11 to 16. And now the serve belongs to Mariah Wingland. Reverse set. Oh, just over the block, Wayland. Ended up playing by her lonesome there. And the Germans pull away by six. How quickly they read the defensive stance or pattern of uh, Team USA. Yes, that is so true. And we have a change of size as the sum of the points arrives at the number divisible by seven, just in case you know why and when we do the change. Chris and her serve. The cut. Oh, Gruna. She is everywhere, and she scores. She earned probably two to three points on that effort. We love her defense. She's just reading the attacks of Team USA. Germans just being so efficient here. United States needs a huddle. They need to regroup. They're down currently by seven. continues as uh, seats are near to be filled up already at the uh, Novali Grand uh, venue here for beach volleyball, the Sands Court. And uh, this will soon be a familiar name, not only in the Philippines, but uh, throughout the world, the Novali Sands Court by Ayala Land here in Laguna. This is outside. And the, the point belongs to the Germany. Germans, who have been eight, extremely Germany. efficient here in this match, and they are a few strides away from no. the end. Yeah, well, Team USA, they have to be decisive, you know. If you want to hit it over in the second pass, you have to direct it to where you want it to go. Attack error for Team USA. And the U.S. ending up short on the effort to play... 
short in front of the net and they're being distracted by the blockers actually. Also, also, the intimidation factor. Set point for the Germans. And that's a better play. Alina Shakon. Set point Chacon. saved by Team USA. Sometimes it pays to go back to basics. Find the hole in this your opponent's Alina defense Chacon. and you it doesn't have to be fa uh, really s a strong one. It can be a Especially in beach volleyball. Yeah. You're oh. saying? And we are done with this first, first set. set. Team Germany. And the uh, Germans Germany taking this one 21-12. Well, that last bump there by Grune, it was intentional. Look at that. It was intentional. <laughs> and we will have the second set of this gold medal match all ready for you where are where you are after this Here is a look at the numbers that uh, occurred in, uh, took place in that first set won by the Germans, 21 to 12. Well, the very deliberate Germans, 13 as compared to 7 in terms of attacks, blocks went their way, aces as well. Opponents there is actually for both teams, not bad, for a piece, but we saw that Germany just had full control over that first set. So true, so very true. patient, like we said, even in, in their morning match, and they embraced that. They made that their advantage, and that's how they played in this first set. Chacon and uh, Whalen tried to be a little more energetic, but they overcooked that. That goes out. First point of the second to Germany. Yeah, one thing USA they have to realize is no need to I rush things. Chacoa if first. you win this second set, it's just the same. You're going to force a third set, so... You just want to play based on your game plan. That's Whoa. a better attack. But, you know, Gruna, such a fine all-around player. Yeah. Oh, long, first long rally here. She's all over the sand. Waylon. Oh. Hello. Long rally ends. Team That's USA the way to go. Good rally, and then you end it with way then just finding that hole in Germany's defense. Look at this. Smart. Whalen will serve after scoring that point. We're tied at one here in the second. First set going to the Germans. Nine. Dominating fashion, 21-12. Strike continues for the Germans. Yep, Chris gets that. After Whalen gets a point by the placement shot, she gets one by Target and Chacon. And you know, you take a look at the Germans, they are in such good condition mm -hmm. for playing. Oh. Nearly lost. And they the short. Part of Germany. I guess more than. The challenge is because of beach volleyball. You really have to be in shape, stamina-wise, strength-wise. Oh, yeah, you have normally more than two games a day. Yeah, that's another thing. So your right stamina, really. Your recovery time so is has to be faster. So the time the serve is a lazy one that does not get anywhere, Lady really. Chacon will serve right now. The U.S. behind by just a point. Good sir. Yes, indeed. Down the line. 
and the cut to Long, and the U.S. has tied the second set. We are tied at three. Boy, these are uncharacteristic errors by Team Germany. They're taking a few chances, you know. Mm. They're playing, uh, let's see how far we can get it on the long ball, actually. Good cross-court serve there. Gruner. Mm. Blocked and Whalen. Scores on a block point. You know, that should boost the confidence of Team USA here. They need to win set number two to force a third set. Because this is indeed the gold medal match. Bronze medal already picked up by the Japanese pair, which the U.S. defeated earlier today. Still for Team USA. USA moves over to the other side, which is uh, right there in front of you. For now, the cut shot by Gruner. Mm, still in play. Yeah. And that's long. The attack by Chris goes out. Now a oh, five two point lead, lead enjoyed by Team USA. Again, another error on the side of Team Germany. Chris, too much power in that. Our score right now. Yeah. Changes very quickly. Service ace, six to three. The U.S. now getting a better head start here. Yeah. Well, it, it's different. You know, it's a different Team USA. There's more confidence here. And uh, perhaps the sense of urgency uh, creeping in is uh, already set here for the Americans. We have a timeout. In all seriousness, uh, the, the prices are important as well in terms of the money because of the expenses you have and the needs you have professionally, of course, but the points also matter. Yeah, because this, this is their profession, you know, these, uh, these duos, these tandems. They'll pick this pair. If, if it works, they'll join a couple of tournaments. If it doesn't, they find other options. So, yeah, I mean, you keep the points because you earn it individually. Yeah, you get the invitations based on the points. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, this is long so on the serve, and that will make it four against six. Four, Germans reobtain the serve yeah. behind by two right now. Well, not a time for Team USA to commit that service error. You want to just... Keep pounding it yeah, on. Yeah, and run away with this. Chris with two hands on that one. We have a battle at the net. Chris doing everything, but unable to do anything else on that one. Yeah, that was just smart. Staying with the ball. Blocked twice, but look at that. This is the second one. Look at this one. Waylon will be serving. It sails in cleanly and it's in the air. Chris, they do that, that finds the line just so well. Knuckleball. They make it uh, look so simple. Watch this. <laughs> Precision. Precision. Yeah. Oh. Chacon with a miss. Great we drop by Shakur. Oh, did she miss? Yes, I think so. And the Germans still have to serve. Yeah. It looked like she did not miss it, but uh, yes, she did. Bruna. Whalen gets that to brush against uh, Kirst. We shall change sides. Well, now they're feeling it. Now Team USA, the angles, the short angles that they like, they got the feel of how to do it, so they're getting comfortable doing it. So they like to hang on to this lead they have as of the moment. Ladies and gentlemen, now serving. 
שקון. שקון. Thinking it was going to go out, changed her mind. Is they, are they going to challenge? Well, we saw the... It was the line, move you, then ball, come to the line. The, the ball mark is erased, already erased. No, you can remove the line. Our referee hanging on to his decision. This is referee Rosales from the Philippines explaining that the um, ball hit the line. Well, that's what, what I gathered. It's ball hit the line. You move. The and ball the goes out. Erased. Right? USA. So, ball marks are important here in beach volleyball, which we don't have in indoor volleyball. Yes. Americans by two. Oh. They, they've been trying that. That doesn't work, you know. To target that side. Two. They're trying to take away Kirst from that blocking Serve area, actually. And this is a messed up serve by Gruna. That doesn't happen very often. Yeah. And uh, Chacon was in the argument earlier. Yeah, back-to-back -back service errors by both squads. Oh, Ooh, red hot serve. That's a service ace from Elena Chacon. First, unable to handle it. Americans have a three point lead. Well, after Germany narrowed the gap to one, back to three. More controlled game by the Americans now. Battle at the net. Mm. Chacon, excellent bump there. She will attack and drop the message. It's not Drops returned. Yeah, again, USA feeling it, you know, more precise off-speed attacks. They're flowing right now. And you know, they look more relaxed. And we always you know, say you're when right. you're relaxed, you, know, you're you right. see the, the, the holes Life in your opponent. in a different perspective. Yes. As you have this attack neatly done you know One, two, 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 when you need points go to her we now head to the technical time we have a technical time the, time the us in the States. second set Five we will be back playing with better efficiency here in the second set of this gold medal match. They lead by three. Kirst. And that will count. Chacon is the one shining brightly here. Huh? I agree. And if you remember, right, for those who just joined us, the first set went in favor of Germany 21 to 12. So, better turn out here for Team USA. And Mariah Whalen will serve. Down the middle we go. Gruna pushes it. How does she find 
those small streets where you can That's find them, which ways can't even find. Yeah. <laughs> But we did say a lot of times a very smart player. That doesn't work. That, that option from this yeah, side of the court to go USA, to that to line has not worked for both teams. Yeah. Chacon, who has uh, developed a hot hand here in the second set. The wind is really blowing here. Mm -hmm. Chacon. Oh, Gruna. Oh, great energy, but just better spiking by the Americans. Yeah, well, you, you, you did say Chacon is having a great second set, having the hot hands, but about that defensive stop by Whalen. Americans have a five-point lead. Chanoa cursed. Chacon, yes, continues to score. The surge continues for Team USA. Six points advantage. And Team USA here in the second set. Germans taken out of their game here in the second set. Kirst. Gruna. Ah, that's short. That's an attack here against Whalen. Whalen missing out on that one. That will make it a five point affair here in the second. Yeah. Wasted opportunity there. Because you can see the defense of Germany scrambling. Good chase down by Whalen. The drop. Gruna. Oh, that's a messed up toss. Double contact called. It's called as double contact. Americans beginning to pull away here in the second. We are beginning to look like we will need the third and deciding set here. What do you expect? It is the gold medal match. If we get to the third, it will be a race to 15. Uh-oh. Gruna. Chacon. Yes. <laughs> well, we talked about Germany's game. And we used the term precision. What about Team USA? When they got the feel of that off speed they kept going to it and they were so precise and they're unstoppable at yeah. this juncture mm -hmm. 18 11. Wow. that works for team germany <laughs> having the lead down to six 12 to the 18 here at set number two for <laughs> There. You know, you th that, if you put the caption on it, you, you could put the caption, why not? Yeah, why not? 18-12. Set by Whalen. Cross-court attack. And Chacon is unstoppable here in the second. 19-12 USA. Yeah, she has been carrying the Team USA. And they are two points away for forcing a third. This is against the window. Oh, good save. Chacon stretching. Chacon jumping. Stretching. Kirst is there. Kirst will attack. Chacon securing the position. Just battle. Chacon oh, stretches the to the end. Oh, Whalen well, gets it to buy. She did not want to waste the efforts of Chacon. Yeah, great defensive stops. Chacon just keeping the balls in play, and they finally get the set point. U.S. arrives at set point, and look at this. Interestingly enough, this seemed like the uh, score of the previous set. Yeah. Well, USA hoping to end this. 
for the exact same score. That's outside. So it goes out. Just for trying team. to so that point for team Germany. streak it down the line. But uh, that line wasn't there. One point uh, away from finishing this seven point lead. Chacon. And the U.S. Off forces the, ball, the third good. set. For Chacon. We will change an event here. What looked like a match that Germany had uh, full control over. You see USA coming coming back and doing the same. And they win the second set by that score, 21-13. The first set going 21-12 for Germany. Third, final, deciding set for the goal coming up. The question you ask is, why not third set for the gold medal match? Each side exerting its dominance over the other. Germans took control of the first set. The Americans countering in the second. Here are the numbers of that second set. Well, the funny thing is what was similar, the similar numbers from the first and the second set are the errors. So we don't talk about the errors. It's the attacks. USA just finding the field. And knowing what to do to get the kill, 10 attacks compared to 6, 2 blocks, 2 aces. But, you know, change, the tides have really changed. Yes, the mood. So right now, we don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Big question mark, uh, super imposed on this game. Again, a race to 15. We will change sides at every divisible yes! number total score okay. by five in the meantime germans get the first point the big difference with the u.s was the game of elena chacon yeah. she was the big factor she was chasing Yassi. everything in sight and she was getting all the kills yes. over the net oh, oh. that is kept alive but stretched nicely by gruna who battles and Whalen says we're Whalen not going to be going quietly into the afternoon. <laughs> Whalen says I'm bigger than you. I got this at the net. Look at that. Now the Germans have to return to what they were doing properly in the first set. They've lost their edge in the second. Americans became a little livelier. Here comes Gruna. First. Chacon. Mm. No, double tap there. Double contact called against Germany. Well, USA yes. continuing here in the third set. Team Germany. Okay, two one here needs to come. Set number three. It is close. Two points apiece. If you ask nicely, people will move. You know, I said, can you If you can just move a little, because uh, Senator Cayetano just just arrived. In the meantime, as a block for Team Germany. We switch ends. Germany now on top. But of course, the Cayetano family close to the I game of body. Yeah. In the meantime, what's the score? 3-2. The Germans have gained the upper hand. We change sides because it's five total points. But what you said is correct. I mean, I totally agree. Germany's got to remember how they played in the first set. That is long. Way that overcooks it just an inch. Who's going to pull away? That is the question. USA's got to stop 
or make some stops here. And that's inside. So go on getting that line. Get her the ball. She's got the high pass. Yes. Elena Chacon is now serving for Team USA. And now Chacon will return to the service area. Her team currently down by one. Let's go pick for a couple of aces here. Here's a drop. Waylon with the set. Oh, Gruna with a great stretch. Ooh. Crowd ooing also. Oh, you're a Back here for Team USA. 5-3, Germany. Got the shot. Oh, they're complaining. You, bit, you feel a bit of the tension. You know what? Chris. Getting some sand. She likes doing that, rubbing yeah. it on her arms. Just trying to keep probably some sweat from uh, getting into her digging and blocking. That's a nice We're drop. Off the block. And that will be the fourth point of the Americans. But it is still pre pretty close here in the third set. It's just when you think about it, what happened in the first set and what happened in the second set. Pretty similar, but different ends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Polar opposites. Over the defense for Chris. Chris is getting her game back in the round of 10 total points. We will ship sides. Well, for Germany, what your game plan should be is put it anywhere where Chacon is in there. Yeah. <laughs> it's impressive. Make, make Whalen run here. Yeah. yeah. Chacon. Whalen. Chacon punches it through. Off the block for that's off the block, and that is going to make it 5 6. Chacon now serving for Team USA. Well, if you have the confidence, we always say that's why there's a difference, you know, when you have that confidence. You don't. You're unfazed by the blocker in front yeah, of you. Correct. You'd know just what to do. Hit it off the blockers. Gruna. Chris. Check ball. Chris gets Point for the, the Germans. Block. They now have a two-point lead. Another two point lead. Well, they can play side out volleyball here, talking about Team Germany. Yeah. Night beginning to creep into the the proceedings. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Ooh, is that it, is outside. Is it that was three point lead for Germany. Eight oh, to five that here could in be decisive. Three. It's a three point lead. So they have to protect. You know, talking about USA, they came back in the second set. They have to stay in step here with Team Germany. Oh, that is a Off step the in the right direction. Yeah. Yep. Nice drop by Wayne. Wayne looking for Team USA. Get that match up. It's a sight to see. Track down by Gruner. Yeah. Shakorn unable to handle Fire the heat. Ball from Chris. As we arrive at 15 points, we'll shift sides again. It's not as confident the German side as it was in the first set. Yes. But they're playing well enough just to create this gap that they are enjoying right now. That's true. Americans just coming a bit unglued. Gruna miss everywhere. Another one. Doing everything. Left-handed stuff. Gruna gets it down. Well, she well, did not down disappoint you. He said she's doing everything, digging, and she gets that kill. And the U.S. calls a timeout.
the flamenco dancers imaginarily walk. <laughs> <laughs> Sounded like a Spanish song as we welcome you back to No Valley. Um, the last game of the program will be the Philippines going for the gold medal. James uh, Buitrago and Rancel Varga play the Czech Republic team. Christoph Jan Oliva and Kakla Kurka. Shakur rejected. We did say that, no? From the start, the, day, the first moment we, we saw her play. Just a quite a smart player. In Mosset, there, Libero, something like that, you know, with that size. The pressure is good. If she played indoor with the size of the German players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But she would be a tall Libero. She could be a setter, you know. USA trying to play catch up here, down by four as of the moment. She reminds me a bit about uh, of uh, Mitch Cobb. Oh, yes. Right? Yes, <laughs> and a little of Don Macandili, she does everything. Yeah. Chris, yelling, yelling it out. U.S. now down by five. Germans tiptoeing towards the finish. Well, Germany's working hard here. Chacon had a great second set. Ah, this one neatly done. Wayla, not bad. She's also made some contributions, but they need to really pull it together here. 20 points here between the two teams, and we'll change sides on you. Well, they are down by four. It's still possible. I've seen a lot of matches with bigger deficits. This the usual line here is they've got to play perfect volleyball. Well, not yet. Not 14 yet. <laughs> but even more so no, 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 you got to start now. I know. Gruna. Lie, lie. Shakuan also covering a lot of ground. <laughs> She's also smashing. <laughs> Elena Shakuan. Going tip for tap here. Watch this. Yeah. You're going to block me? I have an open area. Huh? See? Well, it's not easy. She just makes it look so easy. You know, you're right. And when you're flying in the air, coming off sand. Uh-huh. Waiting. Oh. He'll, she'll get it. Two straight well, points by the in. Americans, and they come within two here. The lead is downtown. They just two. And the Germans, super time. Tense moment here. Mm -hmm. Anybody's game. Germans not yet out of this. But they could be closer now. And between the players coming from Chris. You know, you know what you like about Chris? When they need a point, she take it upon herself. I will deliver. Actually, Germany right now here in the third set. That's their mindset. Yeah. Not giving uh, USA too many chances to make it closer oh. than it already was. Bruno with a great lead, and we are now at gold medal point. Germany now at gold medal point. Germany needs just one to bring home the bacon. But what a comeback by the US team. And the second set, Chacon. Oh, she's not giving it. Chacon saves one match point. 
We're tied. We have a total of 25 points on the board. Well, this is where you always say USA cannot afford any errors. USA, Elena Chacon. Pass in the air, yeah. still in play. Chacon scores and come, brings the U.S. within two. Still in it. They're still in it. Good read. That was Chacon through and through. <laughs> also all over the floor yeah. for the sand that is. And she'll serve. Well served. Cursed. Mm -hmm. Chacon keeping them in play. Bruna. First and we are done. Germany has won the gold medal. Now the Novali Beach Road Tour here in the Philippines, the future's version. But what a battle, a comeback by the American team of Elena Chacon and Maria, Mariah Whelan. But take nothing away from the Germans who have won the gold medal here. Well, it was a good fight, we have to say. After the Team Germany won the first set 25-12, we thought, boy, this is going to be a quick gold medal match. But USA came roaring back and took the third set pretty much in similar fashion. It was a close third set up until that midpoint where Germany just kept tiptoeing away, like you'd like to say, and eventually winning it. We'll wrap up this gold medal match with a few numbers and a few highlights in just a short moment. A match truly deserving uh, for the gold medal, close and tight. You love the comeback of the U.S. in the second, but the control of Germans, especially in that third set, something you cannot ignore. Well, you actually appreciate the efforts of both these teams. It goes to show they're in a different level of play. That's why it is a gold medal match. As much as people thought, again, we mentioned that Germany would win it after winning the first set e easily, would win it in straight sets. USA came fighting back and that's what you like to see that's what yes. you appreciate and that's what makes this gold medal match much more special you know to what? germany will, as they wanted it you know sense. when you were saying that i will never forget alayna chacon and how she decided to take it upon herself i will bring us back into the game and she did a little of everything in that second set or die, or die trying, right? Or die I mean, trying, she really and they were there until the very end of that third, actually. But yeah. the Germans, not to be denied, they had everything going for them, and they, they restored the confidence, the swag, if you want, uh, that they had in that first set. Well, all, all tournament long, they just showed patience, composure, and maturity in their game, and that took them to the promised land. Okay, and the big match of the day
as um, we have the match stats and um, try to tell, but it was close and tight all the way. <laughs> Attacks by one. Blocking aces similar. And errors by the USA with three more. That's how close this match was. Just don't look at the score in the first and the second set, but really the efforts of uh, the, both the tandems. But hats off to Germany. Yes, you will get the gold. Gold medal here in the uh, Volleyball Beach Pro Tour, New Valley Futures version. Coming up next, the Philippines, James Boitrago and Rancel Barga fight for the home team against the Czech Republic pair of Christoph Jan Oliva and Kaklav Korka. Don't go too far away.
The day is about to close, but we are not yet done here. We have one more match remaining, the men's category, the men's tournament, and it will feature the Philippines up against the Czech Republic. Two teams that really clawed and scratched to be able to get to this match. Should be a good one, Ringo. Well, I'm looking at the flags, and you're happy, though, what, because they have similar colors and yeah, similar design. Yeah. One of them, yes, indeed, is Team Philippines. And uh, the pair from the Philippines, such a industrious pair. Uh, they're fun to watch, actually. They will go up against the uh, pair from Czech, the Czech Republic. That's so calm, cool, and collected, actually. Well, but I find similarities in the games of both these teams, so yeah. it's very exciting to watch them, especially if you witness that semi-final matches. Both teams with a taller player and uh -huh, a not-so-tall yeah. player, but they work hard for that victory, and hence the gold medal match. And the advantage, of course, of the Philippine team is that they have the home crowd that's come out in a little, you might say, full force as you take a look at the bracket and where the teams will land after the result of this one. Yeah, I mean, the uh, Philippines had to go up against Latvia, and they, they disposed of that. And... The Czech Republic. Yeah? Yeah. I, I make a mistake also. Yeah. You don't worry, don't worry. The Czech Republic had to defeat Turkey there. Tough yeah. matches at hand but uh, early today, but yeah, they got through that. And Latvia ended up in third place earlier, winning against Turkey. Let's take a look at um, the semis result of the Czech uh, Republic as Oliva and Kurka combined together to make short work in a way of the team from Turkey, 22-20 and 21-17. Yeah, Murmur and uh, Sachet there. But but it wasn't that easy when we saw the matches. It's just a matter of getting the right momentum at the right time, the right stops at the right time. But whatever, whatever the matches were, what is important is they, they made it through. They're here right now. On the other side, the Philippines uh, winning a thrilling match. Uh, against a Latvian team that seemed to be frustrated with a variety of things and the Philippines took full advantage plus a cheering crowd helping <laughs> them along. Well, they have home court advantage and it's great if they can use that to the fullest and uh, yeah, they defeated. You know what I like about uh, this tandem between Huitrago and Varga? What? Varga is actually, they're playing it smart. Obviously, they stuck to their game plan. Hard work went into coming coming into this tournament and it's paying off and these are two players who used to play against each other mm. in their respective schools we'll tell you more about that in a short short while but this should be a good one and a great way no matter what happens to this game a great way to end this tournament here in the philippines and for me more than anything it actually gives hope to our country that hey yeah we're, we're supporting beach volleyball and we have a team vying for gold and Absolutely. you know for medal and if we can win it what a huge development for the sport and we do host these events like the bnl and the forthcoming 2025 world men's volleyball tournament but i'm getting ahead of the story as <laughs> always first it's going to be the philippines against the czech republic when we return for the gold medal of the futures tournament here
Richard Nubali. The gold medal match is between the Czech Republic and the Philippines. Before we begin this match, let's introduce our officials for this gold medal match. Our first referee, Srinivasan Jayaraman from India. Our second referee, Jaturong Tongwat from Thailand. And now let's meet the Czech Republic. Number one, Christoph Jan Oliva. Number two, Vaclav Kurka. And their opponents across the court from the Philippines. Number one, James Boitrago. And number two, Rancel Varga. This is for the gold medal. Good luck to both teams. Evening beginning to uh, set here. The sun is yeah. officially out. <laughs> <laughs> and we have the lights up here at this beautiful, beautiful venue. The uh, the Valley Sands Court, and uh, of course uh, managed by Ayala Land here in Laguna. Underway with the first shirt. Here's the set, and the Czech Republic gets on the board very quickly. That's just smart hitting there, targeting the end court end zone there, eluding the blocker. Good start. Korka will be serving. This is Vatle Korka. Varga. Varga attacks. Well, the, what uh, the Czech Republic Whoa. can do, Philippines Philippi can do too. Can you imagine how tense and the nerves playing in the minds of the two Filipino players in front of their home country and playing here on their home court, if you call it that. A lot of challenges. Varga with a good stretch, but not to be denied was Oliva. Well, they look like they're in good spirits, and yeah. what they're hoping from this tandem is really that they believe. They believe they can actually win the gold. And stay in step with the pair from the Czech Republic. Here's Boitago. Varga, one-handed pickup this time. The set down the middle we go, and it's neatly down the middle. Korka just so quick, eluding the blockers, hitting it in between defense. Look at that. The blocker and the receiver, smart, smart hit. As usual on the head of the cap of uh, James Bertrago is don't flinch. That will not work for the Philippine side. They've now fallen behind for one here in the early goings of the opening set. But you will recall, you know, in that uh, the match earlier, Philippines, Vargas was using patience. Remember yes. that? Just finding the hold. That's what he should resort to because he was successful doing that. Like that. In that corner. <laughs> Like that, you know, it just gets so tempting, especially in this atmosphere. The crowd is for you, cheering for you. That yeah. when you get, when you see the ball set, you wanna hit away. Hit away, yeah. 
hitching. Yes, uh, you need the little prudence, of course. That serve is what? It is in, my mistake. It is served in, and it's a one point lead by the Czech Republic. Good counter by Team Philippines Vargas. Look at that. What a serve. Oliva and Korka are playing in their second Pro Tour event as a pair. Oliva has appeared in 14 prior Pro Tour events, finishing as high as second with former partner Tadeus Trusil. We have a battle at the net, elevated. Varga makes it a set! Oh, it's the, oh. That is a the check. The check's actually complaining. Let's, let's take a look at that. Why? Oh, that, that looks like a legal ball. Ah, they're complaining the overreach. Wala namang front, back row player dito. Wala, wala. None. But uh, look it's at the... It's the overreach. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's a valid ball. We're tied at four. And that is decisively hit. Oliva with the hot delivery. We're not at four. And now the score has changed. It's 5-4 already. Yeah, Oliva just playing it smart. Not hitting it into the blocker. Varga. Whoa! <laughs> it's inside and we're knotted together at five. Well, he wasn't sure whether it was uh, called good, but it, there was a check nonetheless. Serve and play by James Boitrago. And that is outside. Well, they will take any errors and free points given to them. It's such a close and highly contested percent. You know, in a gold medal match, you want to have the head start, really. Yeah. But that serve is wasted. We're tied at six. For well, the Philippines, one thing, no, they have to remember is how they got to this match, how, to, how, how they got to this point is they were just very patient in their game. Which is... Varga. Luis Oliva. Corca. I think he got the corner. Yes, he did. Boy, the Czechs are just swinging away yeah. and finding the line. If you use a baseball term, they're hitting towards the fences, actually. Right. 7-6, close in time. Oh, oh that's a miss. And the Beans got to settle down here, trying to rush things. We change sides as we arrive at a total of 14 points. If you recall, the Czechs defeated the, the Team Turkey because they were also patient. You know, they were just staying in step and then waiting for the airs. And finally, they were able to win that. Drop, and there's an open place. Neatly done. Yes. Well thought of. The opportunity presented itself. Here comes the serve. Varga already to do it. No. Oh. Uh oh. Good save. Yes, indeed. Oh. And the drop by Varga. <laughs> creative things about it. So creative. Crafty. We're tied at eight. Now, if you're the Czech pair, you got to shut off this audience in your head, really. Easier said than done, but they'll try. Yeah, they will. They have to. Good check. Oh, block point. All right, Dago, taking care of business there. Great read. Boitrago covering the cross. 
And finally, look at that. A stuff block, finally. Was that Oliva, I think, was the one who hit it to yeah. the blocker. What a serve. And you know, you saw the curve of that serve. This one down the middle. Well done. That was good coming from Puka. Nine all. Well, both, both these players from the Czech Republic, they can't put it down as we saw there. Nine apiece. How close is close? Set by Boy Trago. Varga rejected though at the net in the Czech Republic. And so one point play. Well, you can see him going for the strong kills once again. And again, we have to hope that he will rethink his strategy. Oh. Uh oh. They will try to salvage this point, keep it in play. And that's off the block. Well, Philippines, Boitrago successful with one stop block. But what about the efforts of the Czech Republic? And they're just actually swinging away. Yes, indeed. They are using their height advantage. Boitrago and Varga playing in their second Pro Tour event. Agreed. Two point lead by the Czech Republic, and that's a point delivered by the Philippines. That should boost Team Philippines. You know, last year, Boitrago and Barga participated in the challenge event in the Valley, but couldn't qualify for the main draw. And um, we have a timeout. Boy Drago, by the way, uh, played for NU in the UAAP, while Varga suited up for USD. They met in the finals, but USD was always winning against mm. NU. So, Boy Drago won a bronze medal with the national team in the 2023 SEA Games. Both players have been in the national pool since 2019. But it's only beach volleyball? Yeah. Mm. You can see the focus of Team Philippines. I mean, with regard to their career, they've uh, dedicated their lives to the beach. Serving for the Philippines, James Boitrago. also to serve. Noisy crowd, huh? Waking us all. Good crowd. Yes. Here's the set. Oh, boy, Trago was caught back pedaling. Uh, you know, we've seen it throughout the day. Some of these players, they will decide not to block and try to keep the ball in play. It, he actually had the right thing in mind because Adiva just gave a soft shot. But couldn't keep that ball alive. Boitrago, Varga, lobs it high and sends it simply into a corner. Again, that is one of his strengths. Varga just finding that hole in the opponent's defense. Close and tight here. Czech Republic is a one point lead here in the first set. Varga, oh, he loves doing that. Korak and Oliva drilling it in. Yeah, Boitrago risked it. He opened his block and Oliva just went through. Two point lead by the Czech Republic. Familiar refrain this two point lead. Varga. And it's down and out. Boitrago. Get the point. <laughs> Still a close one point game. The Philippines needs a good serve. Oh, 
It's just a little too much. And boy, Drago was sweating nicely. Two-point lead. Christoph Jan Oliva serving. Boy, Drago. Baga. Oliva gets to it. That's long. As that goes out, well, rare errors on the side of the checks. Yeah. But Philippines will take it. It's mostly hitting errors, huh? Yeah. But prior to that, they've been really successful swinging. Ansel Varga all set to serve. You know, it's been a while since there have been games involving the Philippine national team. So this is a welcome opportunity to cheer for the home team. And, and for the goal. Yes. Varga, close to the net. Block! White Drago has thrown away the keys to the door and a second straight block. And they grab the lead. How huge is this? Another good read for James Buitrago. Rancel Varga all set to serve. Philippines with a one-point lead. <laughs> and Buitrago was going for three in a row, but this one won't work. We're tied at 15. You can see his frustration. He wanted to make it three for three. <laughs> hat, hat trick. Yeah, hat trick. A turkey. Nice set. One-handed breaker. Ah, well done. Well crafted by Oliver. Yeah, just smart, simple beach volleyball being shown by the Czechs. One point per set, 16-15. Korka with a serve. Short. Nice drop by White well, Again, a great response on the side of Team Philippines. Pretty much similar actions as a check. Second ball over. Members of the pool of beach volleyball in red shirts cheering on their colleagues and that's just long and challenge. The, challenge from Team Philippines. the way the challenge works here is they'll check the ball mark yeah. and the referee from India and look out from where we're sitting you know, the referee has to go back to the perch to make the announcement. Oh, it was good. No complaints from the chef. <laughs> of course. And from the crowd. Philippines by one. Look short. Good serve. Chance, Chance. to attack. Chance. Down. <laughs> 18-16. Philippine pair with a two-point lead. Yeah, what a tough angle. You got to see it again. Good effort, though, by the Czechs. Oh, the Czech Republic will use a timeout here.
14-16, two-point lead, gold medal the match. The James Boy Trago. Boy Trago will serve with the team leading slightly, trying to make it first to the uh, finish line of this first set, race to 21. Boy Trago. Good serve. Oh, easily handled by Barga. Chance now for the Philippines to attack. And they go! It's, oh, I thought it was still alive. Good effort by the Czechs to get with it play. But the Philippines with a three-point lead. Team Philippines feeling it right now. Barga, come on. Two points to win the first set. They serve well, actually, Boy Drago and Barga. And we are at set four. Philippines has finally adjusted to the swing or to the attempt of the check. Wow. Boy Drago serving for the set. Attacked by the Czech Republic. Good save, Barga scampering for it. Czechs adjust. Barga keeps it alive. The drop. And the to this crowd roars. What a start by Team Philippines. Look at this. Just working on hard persistence, resilience. It's a 21-16 first set for the Philippines. We shall be back. Philippines completing the uh, scratching and clawing to be able to get the points <laughs> to win out in that first set, 21-16. Well, what you love about that first set victory for Team Philippines, it started as if the Czechs were the stronger team. You know, they were using their height to their advantage, just getting through the defense of Philippines. Then they turned things around. They started blocking. They started hitting smartly, smarter. That's outside. <laughs> Just <laughs> outside. And the Czech team, made up of Christoph Jan Oliva and Katlav Kurka, get on the board first. But, no. I think the point goes to the Philippines. Yeah, they call it in. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Here's the first try. Okay, I'll do it on the second try. Boy Trago gives the Philippines a 2 nothing lead. And the serve belongs to Varga. The drop, and neatly done. Over the defense, Kurka. Well done. Kurka neatly reading that. Well, now they will think twice about ramming it through Buitrago. So Varga has got to be ready to defend that. Buitrago with the big Varga reverses set. That's long. On check ball. Check ball. Philippines gets its third point. The Czechs had, had a hand at that. It's a good challenge, but Buitrago 
hits it through. Here's Boyd Trago hitting that serve wide, making it 3 2. <laughs> They're going for gold here. They got to settle down and try to get the job done first. Good serve. Solid on the jump. And that's off the block. Swarga. You know what I like about this player? Is their serving is solid. Yeah. Despite some few miscues here and there, they keep the ball mostly in play. Giving them opportunities to attack. 4-2 yeah. is the count. Like that. Another good one. Block, but the out. You know, the crowd held their breaths waiting for the next one to react. We will change sides as we arrive at the seventh point. Well, Philippines still with a one point lead here. Already night uh, is upon us. Lights in full intensity here. It's such a beautiful day here, really. Huh? It is. In, I mean, even if you're looking at cars <laughs> driving yeah. by <laughs> instead of the waves, it is a good day. <laughs> we try to try to go down the line, thwarted, but he returns the message. He keeps it in play. Varga. Next touch, our referee from India calling that against Varga. We're tied at four. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we've seen it more often than not when there's a joust between a taller and a not-so-tall player. The smaller one goes into the net. Yes. Philippines gets a point by that service mistake. 5 4 tally here. They will take it. They will take it. That's wild. Boy Drago mm. trying to go to the corner. Point is returned to the Czech Republic. We're tied at 5. Korka will serve. Gorko taking his time. As he always does. As he does. Turkey Gutters said, I remember they were waiting for the serve. Yes. No. Overcooked. Looked uh, solid, but it was long. 6 to 5. Czech Republic up by 1. Two straight errors. Philippines got to shake it off here. Philippines taking the first set. 6 21 16. Take your time. Oh, that was out. But uh, Ray Drago went for it. Well, you always say when in doubt, get, but. Uh, no, it was. It, it was iffy. 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 Yeah, when, when in doubt. If there's such a word. Iffy. iffy. When in doubt, get, but. Uh, doubtful, yeah. doubtful is you have more to precise. Do it yeah. Properly. That punch is through. Ray Drago gets it through. And Boy Trago brings the Philippines within one of the lead of the Czech Republic. Boy, how did he get that through? We heard the sound wasn't the so most solid of yeah. hits, but he just got it. Through. For the Philippines, he punctured that. Yes. Varga. Philippines Ooh. now making some miscues with their serves. We shall change sides as we uh, have arrived at 14 points. Well, they, they should be happy that they're switching sides. That side in that series of points, not pretty good to both Buitrago and Varga. Your serve. No, better decision by uh, Buitrago. 
Yeah, you know, you can see if they control their emotions. Yeah, check them. Yeah. Is it in? It's in. The attack goes in for the Czech Republic. Count is 9 7, second set. 9 7 for the Czech Republic. I was waiting for Boitrago to react, but he did realize it was good. Boy, Trago whips it, but they're getting a little uh, overexcited, trying to get the points back just as quickly. Czech Republic jumps out, Trump by three. Well, I think they're trying to get the crowd in it by spectacular hits, but it has not been working for last, Team Philippines. Last three points. No nope, tough recovery by Kurga. Varga is there. Mm. Not clean. Oliva. Oh. Oh. Great stuff. That's the way to get the crowd in. Monster block. Great read. You know, Boy Drago looks like a flyweight. He looks like a boxer when he does those blocks, really. <laughs> In such convincing fashion, 8-10, serve belongs to the Filipinos. And Sel Varga, chance we're attacked. That is inside. That corner has been the bane of the Filipinos. Have been kind to the Czech. But they're just doing a great job in uh, keeping the crowd silent. Which you do if you're the visiting yeah. squad. You know those things when your teammate does that, you don't tell them, out, you know, uh, that's out. You should not touch it. Okay, move on. That's the next point. <laughs> Doesn't help you anyway. Also, you're, you should know your teammate does not want to commit the no, error. No, 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 yeah. Two point lead by the Czech Republic. Leave is the same. Seven. Nicely done. Korka. And we are at 12 9. The technical timeout has arrived and we will avail of it. Size crowd enjoying the volleyball action. Beach Pro Tour. Futures version for beach volleyball. One of three categories. We're in the uh, more developmental type, which is the futures. Gold medal match. Check ball. <laughs> Czechs are doing a great job. You know, yes, Philippines will score, but then they will get the point right back. Hence, the crowd is silent. You know, Philippines, right now you're down by two. And that's now uh, down by three. Not a little over eager on that serve. And when they're on this side, we notice that they're trying too hard for service aces. Just get it in. Varga. 
That's the team connected upon. Young boy Drago. Yeah, that's the response you want. You know, you don't need a really, really strong hit. Like the, the imaginary attack line, right? You just need to get it down, need to get the job done. Oh. Ah, neatly connected the ball. I like the way Korka played that. Yeah. yeah. Well, both of them actually, they're just playing it smart. Yeah. They're just That's scoring the, a point. That do dolphin dive was too far away. <laughs> yeah. Good effort, though. Yeah. 14 11. Re read cleanly. Mm. Oliva missing on that one. The lead is two points. He will take it, but Oliva has got to realize he doesn't have to be so near. He can push it a bit farther to the line. Two points. Franchal Varga made sure this time. One point game. The beach right back in the second set. If you're just joining us, the Philippines took the first set 21 16. Oh, blocked. Off the, hands. the defense was not in position, so it's a two-point lead for the Czech Republic. It's a total of 28 points. We will shift sides. Well, you can see in that slow mo you know, but Boitrago actually read it well, but great execution going over, you know, hitting it off the high hands. And Vargo is on his way to the left, but the ball landed. Yeah. On the right side of the court. Oliva. Both teams trying to be a little more cautious. And That's Oliva counters with the block. And giving the Czech Republic a three point lead here in the second. That's huge. Oliva just read it well, covered the cross. Look at that. Boom. Well, actually, the line there. Oliva runs quickly to the center position. The block. And now they're blocking, getting to be intact. Great anticipation to the side of the Czechs. Czechs now have a four point lead. Philippines needing to regroup. Here's Oliva, who's been serving well of late. Boitago getting to it. The drop. Excellent pick up that time, and the Filipinos grapple with it. Oliva scores again. Oliva just played great volleyball here. And they have full control of the second set. If you're a team Philippines, you have to dig deep because you don't want a third set. You want a rally right here. Tries to be deliberate with his attacks like that one. Well, they need to chase. They're down by four. Oh, 
Boy, Trago, look at that serve, dance in the air. Varga. Varga will attack. It's outside. He just missed it. Can't believe it. Well, they have to settle down. You see, in the first set, Varga was more successful because he has control over his emotions. He's too excited to win the gold medal. He's forgetting the task of having to actually win the set. Good recovery that time by Orca. With Drago and company with attack opportunities. And the Czech Republic gets the set point. Well, everything working for the Czechs. Orca and Oliva really just solid. Great defense, just reading it well. They're very calm here in the second set. Kurka really takes his time to deliver that serve and Guaytrago keeps the flickering hopes of the Philippines alive and we will change sides. You know what you like about the Czechs now? The way their ability to actually, like you said, they take their time. They lost the first set but they know it doesn't end until the Philippines wins another set. Yes. So they were they stayed right in the match. Played very smart. Bye, bye. Oh, good day. And Varga will attack. Varga has the line. There you that's go. 2016. Yeah, there you go. He has been successful there rather than the strong hits. Barely. The serve long and we're done. And we are done. Identical scores 21 16 and 21 16, but each side has picked up a set here. So we will need a third and decisive set, a race to 15. Okay, we're tied at one set piece, and it will come down. The tournament, the gold medal, to one final set. One final set, one final push. But the Philippines, they have to realize in set two, they have eight errors. Eight errors compared to only three by the Czechs. So that's a huge difference. Blocking also went the way of the Czechs. Philippines had more attacks, actually, surprising. But... We felt it already. The Czechs had control from the start. It changed that. The mood yeah. of the match changed. Let's see if the Philippines can alter it. That's the first point. Well, that's the way to go. You have to play it smart. Play to your advantage. And that, you know, that's actually a sign of maturity also for this pair, no? Boitrago and Varga. They've got, come a long way. Because we've seen the maturity in their game. Good serve, just above the net. Good set. And oh. gets jammed with Varga. Varga read it well, it was just too steep. We are knotted together at one. Oliva playing so well. Counter. 
Oh, that's a good sign for Team Philippines. If Varga plays that way, cool, calm, collected, good things happen. The Trago will be serving. Down deep. But out. Off the block, good. And we are tied at two. Good effort, though, on the side of Huitrago, trying to block that with a smart hitting by Korka. Korka. Huitrago. Huitrago will chase it. Huitrago seeing the open alley. Patience is the name of the game. A point is a point. So that's one lesson really we learned throughout this match. This day, actually, when we recovered, this is our eighth game. That's one thing we learned. You have to stay patient. Perhaps more so in beach volleyball compared to yeah. indoor. Huge block, but no, out. it's outside. <laughs> We're tied. <laughs> I was taking from uh, Boitrago's reaction. He fooled me. <laughs> I looked at the referee right away. <laughs> I have a scaffolding in front of me. <laughs> Three apiece. Oh, wow. oh, Mark is feeling it right now. He's just waiting for that good opportunity to swing away. But right now, he's playing it smart. One-point lead by the Philippines. They took the first set. Both the teams winning each set, 21-16. Identical scores. Oh, good save. Oh, oh good read that time by James. Two-point lead for Team Philippines. This is a shorter set. Race to 15. Yep. Good serve. Oh, nicely done. is oh, such a smart player. Yeah. And he makes it look so simple. He just kept that ball in play. And he gets the point. He seems unruffled, you know? Yep. By whatever's happening. Yes, sir. Oh, good save. Deep down recovery. And that is on the line. We're tied. We switch hands for the score time. The two point lead evaporated. evaporated into the humid air. Five all, one all. This is for all the marbles. <laughs> this is for all the fans. The serve. Good read. Oh, good save. Battle. I like you to go. Philippines gets a point with a crawler here. We got lucky. We have to say, Team, Team Philippines got lucky. Boy, you know, you got to feel for the Czechs. Everything but that final shot. Mm -hmm. Great defense. But they're so poised. They're so poised. Relax. Given that they're playing as the visitors, mm. clearly, just their experience, young as they are, mm -hmm. coming forth here. Boy Trago has done a little of everything with the blocks. 
but that is a huge one. Great read, covering the cross. Now, the challenge for Team Philippines, how do you protect this two-point lead? Which has not lasted very long, really. See? <laughs> Calmly puts it away. Oh, just targeting the corners. He has been successful actually since set number one. Yes, indeed. Serve short. Varga will make it to set. But Chago says, I got you. So you see the difference, a huge difference in the demeanor of Team Philippines from the third set, from the second set. They look kind of rattled, kind of uh, in a hurry in set number two. Right now, they have settled down. Oliva. Corca. Inside. Strategy, we'll change sides again. We've reached 50 points. They're not out of it yet. This is a good Czech team that also wants the gold. Of course. And I feel they're, they're you know, following their game plan to a T. They're going for the long hits. Easy, sir. Varga. White oh. with a cannonball. <laughs> Boy, he did what uh, Oliva has been doing the entire set. Look at that. Slowly but surely. Good save. They scamper back into defensive positions, but Oliva's such a smart player. Yeah. He's such a party pooper. Yeah. <laughs> no, but, but what effort shown by Team Philippines. You know, Varga, look at that from the back. Smart volleyball. Mm -hmm. Simple and smart. That's a call. Can't help but call it. That's violation. It's a catch and pass. So we know the referee does not change his calls on that. You know, the catch violation. And again, the two point lead has gone somewhere. Republic. Well, you cannot fault Varga for going for that swing because there were no blo blockers yes, in indeed. front of him. But again, he has been more successful. Three straight points by the Czech Republic. Yeah. Good recovery. That was close, though. That could have been blocked, actually. Oliva was all over that. And we will change sides again. Mm -hmm. As we have some chance. <laughs> Battle of the nerves. James Point Parker now serving for the Philippines. Ten all. Still anybody's gold medal to win. Long on the service. You could sense Boy Trago wanted to get that back. You know, in my mind, really, serving was good up until that point. Inside, and the Philippines still kicking. Yeah. He's been successful with those, you know, placement shots. 
just well within the line. Mm -hmm. Serve dancing. Playable. Free ball. Chance for the Czechs to attack. It's outside. It's outside. He doesn't know it yet. Oliver doesn't know it yet. Oliva doesn't know it yet. Crucial, crucial challenge here. I love it. The referee could actually make the signal there, but in the formality of it all, he has to go back to the bridge <laughs> and he has to make the signal up there. Official announcement. Adds to the drama, doesn't it? <laughs> it prolongs the agony of the other team. But that's a huge break for Team Philippines. Race to 15. Wagner taking his time. Chance to attack. Oh, neatly done. Oliva unstoppable. Yeah. And you know, he'll make an error. Okay, forget about it. And score the next time. Oliva serving for the Czech Republic. Oliva. Slides down. Oh, Oliva, a tiger in this third set. We'll change sides anew. Czech Republic with a one point lead. Great read. He just stayed in the air as long as he could. Two straight points by the Czech Republic. Well, again, Philippines, you've got to stay calm. Good save, good save. Oh. Philippines, tying it up. What a game. What a game. You love the fight of Team Philippines. Look at that, that could have been oh, a block. Both of them really hustling, scampering, pursuing. <laughs> Well, this is their shot. Where Trago can get the Philippines to gold medal point here. He needs one good block. No, it's in the corner at the gold medal point. Czech Republic gets their first. Boy, what more can we say about Oliva? A great game. Corka will be serving. Chance to attack. And it's done. The Czech Republic has won the gold medal. Playing so solidly in the third set. Take nothing away from them. Yeah. I mean, they just showed that they were a better team here in the third set, but hats off to the efforts of Team Philippines. What a battle. Could have gone either way, actually. Yeah. But you, you did see, you know, that last point when Huitrago went for the kill. Yes. He kind of blacked out and hit it straight into the blocker. Yes. So, you know, but... He tried. He tried his best to get it at Varga. He came, they came this far. And silver medal finish by the Philippine side. And we'll see more of Boitrago and uh, Varga in the days. Ahead, For you sure. Know? But take nothing away. I like Oliva's game. The way he played with poise, composure, yeah. especially in the end. <laughs> if only there was an ocean, they could have jumped into it. <laughs> yeah. We'll uh, have the awarding ceremony in just a short while, and we'll um, bring all the people who have won here today to the podium. We'll take a look at the final score, Czech Republic winning two sets to one.
Okay, our tournament drops its curtains, but not without the awarding ceremony, which will follow in just a short while. But first, I look at the numbers and how close the whole thing was. Yeah, I mean, first set, Philippines. Second set, Czech. Czech Republic. The third set, you said it was close, could have gone either way. But you have to really salute the effort of Oliva. Now, Kirka, yes, as well. I mean, it's a tandem, but Oliva just carry the Czech team, his patience, his decision making, you know, he, he blocked, he served everything, he did almost everything, if not everything for the Czech Republic, and they do deserve the gold. But what about the efforts of Team Philippines? Huge. They were this close to a possible gold medal win, but they will take this as part of their growing experience and their formation as a volleyball tandem. A volleyball pair. Yeah. And they should get more exposure, participate in more tournaments down the road. Yeah. Big win by the Czech Republic. Some stats from the match. Well, attacks went the way of the Philippines. It goes to show that they have improved in that aspect, blocking even aces, Philippines by one, opponents' errors. You can see 14 for Team Philippines and just seven, and that made a huge difference. But you know, again, Philippines, great effort. We got this far. We just fell short. You're right. They just need to learn more and try to mature more and learn from this tournament. So the final standings is for the men. First is the Czech Republic, Philippines second. Latvia is third. And for the women, it's Germany, USA, and Japan. That's coming up next. Stay tuned for that.
Ladies and gentlemen, before we begin our award ceremony, we would like to thank everybody who has supported this event from day one. And since this is the last day, we are now about to hand out the hardware to all the hardworking men and women of the Volleyball World Beach Tour. The medalists are about to be known. And we now start our award ceremony for the winning teams here at the Volleyball World Beach Pro Tour Futures New Valley. But before that, we introduce our honorable guests to present the awards. First up, the first vice president of PLDT, Mr. Jude Turquato. Up next is the general manager of Seda New Valley, Mr. Armand Angeles. Representing Sonac Corporation, Mr. King Golfo. PNVF Executive Board Member, Mr. Anthony Tony Boy Liao. New Valley Estate Development Head, Mr. Mark Manundo. PNVF Chairman, Dr. Arnel B. Hajan. PNVF Secretary General, Mr. Don Caringal. And last but not least, PNVF President, Mr. Ramon Tats Suzara. We now invite the medalists in the women's division to please move over to the podium. At this point, we would also like to call in Mr. Tony Boy Liao and Mr. King Golfo to present the award, the trophies, the medals, and the cash prize to our bronze medalists. Gentlemen, our bronze medalist, Team Japan. Representing Japan are Riko Tsuchimura and Take Nishibori. Our bronze medalists get the trophies, the medals, and 500 US dollars. Again, congratulations, our bronze medalist, Team Japan. Our second placers, or our silver medalists, will be awarded by Dr. Arnel B. Hajan and Mr. Jude Turquato. Thank you very much to Mr. Liao and Mr. Golfo. I'd like to call in Mr. Turquato and Dr. Hajan. Our silver medalists to get the trophy, the medals, and the prize money of 700 US dollars, Team USA. United States of America, represented by Elena Chacon and Mariah Whalen. Congratulations to our silver medalists, the United States of America. Thank you very much, Mr. Golfo and Mr. Turquato. And now to award the gold medal in the women's division, we'd like to call in Mr. Ramon Tatsuzara. And 
now the champion of the women's division is Team Germany. Germany represented by Chinoa Christ and Anna Lena Gruner. They get the medals, the trophy, and 1,000 US dollars. Ladies and gentlemen, your champions, Team Germany. I'd like to request all of the uh, gold or all of the medalists to please come together for one photo op. Congratulations to our medalists. Team Japan winning the bronze. Team USA winning the silver. And Team Germany winning the gold. Thank you very much, ladies, and at this point, we'd like to bring in the medalists in the men's division. Once again, we call it the medalists in the men's division. Give them a big round of applause. Now to award our bronze medalists, our third placers, we invite to the podium, Mr. Don Caringal and Mr. Armand Angeles. Medalist Team Latvia. Latvia represented by number one, Tom Sliepa, and number two, Ernest Pushkuntis. Congratulations to Team Latvia. And thank you once again, Mr. Karigal and Mr. Agnes. Now to present the awards for the second placers, we'd like to call back Dr. Arnel Hajan, and this time accompanied by Mr. Mark Manundo. Third placers get 500 U.S. dollars, and our second placers will get 700 U.S. dollars plus the trophy and the medals. Our silver medalist, Team Philippines. Philippines represented by James Boitrago and Ransel Varga. Congratulations, our silver medalist, Team Philippines. And now to award the gold medal, we'd like to call back the NBF president, Mr. Ramon Tatsuzara. The gold medalists, the champions of the Volleyball World Beach Pro Tour here in Duvali, Team Czech Republic. The Czech Republic, represented by Kristof Jan Oliva and Vaclav Kurka. Champions get the medals, the trophy, and 1,000 U.S. dollars. Thank you once again, Mr. Susana. As we now have 
a photo op first with the winners of the men's division. And we also bring in the medalist from the women's division. Group photo first with the men's division winners. And now let's bring in the ladies as well. All the winners of the men's and women's championships now come together for one big group photo. to summarize winners in the men's group Czech Republic Philippines second Latvia is third in the women's it's Germany USA and Japan we've had a great tournament here today Noreen it was a long day a long tournament but all were well worth it really and we salute the winners we congratulate the winners and everybody is a winner here in beach volleyball as the sport and the fans are the winners here and uh, in behalf of the PNB all our sponsors, our home network, of course, Signal and One Sports. It's been a pleasure having uh, brought this coverage over the last two days, and even last weekend we also had a, a coverage. So we look forward to more events like this. Right, what a treat for the fans, you know, both in the venue and uh, on television and the Venus Live. You know, it's such a treat that we get to host such a, an event, prestigious event, and we look forward, like you said, to more events. And thank you, Noreen and our entire hardworking Signal One Sports production team that has lived here practically both weekends. And we'd like to thank you for joining us as we bring to you highlights of the day's events. And we look forward to seeing you more in the days ahead as we bring you more volleyball, more great sports, more for you to enjoy.